Gecko Moria. Hey he he he. Did you see his expression? When Luffy's knee passed, he still had a mocking look, I laughed so hard. Don Quixote da Flamingo. F you furfur. This guy is treated at the same level as a sand crocodile, it's all a conqueror's winding top knee. Quinn. It's just as easy to lie down, haha. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. If I had the strength of Red Luffy back then, Angel Island would not have been destroyed. Rora Noa Zoro. Don't feel guilty, we did our best. Vin Smoke Sanji. Yes. Now compared with us on the opposite side, we must have a sense of urgency, strive to improve ourselves, and not leave any regrets in the future journey. Tony Tony Chopper. Sanji said it well. Following Luffy's tyrannical knees, Enel came directly with a face full of peach blossoms, and passed out on the spot. Silly. Kona's father and daughter are really completely stupid. This is the god of the holy land in the sky, ah. However, it's just such a god, and it's over when this ordinary looking young man in front of him lifts his knee up like this. At this time, Luffy looked at Konus and his daughter. Now, can you tell us about this god? Okay. Okay. Konus's father woke up from the shock, so he started talking about Enel's invasion of Sky Island five years ago. The other side, Cloud Shinobi Village. Enel's voice is gone. His voice is gone. A little girl named Aisha rushed into the chief's house while shouting plus. What? Are you sure you heard it right? The great warrior Wapa stood up with a startled expression on his face. The chief on the side also said in shock, Aisha, listen carefully, you can't joke about this kind of thing. Aisha shook her head quickly. That's right, he heard that Enel went from the island of the gods to Angel Beach, where there are a few people from Qinghai. Enel just met them, and his voice disappeared all of a sudden. Hearing Aisha confirmed this again, all the soldiers in the tent gasped. Their heart beating faster. Wapa. What a great opportunity. Yeah. Let's go find Enel, because kill him. This is our chance to take back our homeland. Go to Angel Beach. The warriors of Sandia looked at the chief and the great warrior Wapa with excited eyes. However, Wapa pondered for a moment and decided with firm eyes, no, don't go to Angel Beach, let's go to the island of the gods, kill the priests and soldiers. Warrior Mantis said in shock, what? Don't you want to kill Enel? Now that Enel's voice has disappeared, this is definitely a good opportunity for us. Wapa said calmly, no, those people from Qinghai that Aisha heard can make Enel's voice disappear, obviously they are not easy to deal with. Let's go and clear up all the troubles of the priests and soldiers first, and then deal with them. At this time, the chief also stood up and said, Wapa is right, eat all you can eat first. As for Enel, it would be best if he died directly in the hands of Qinghai people. If the situation is not what we think, then now is not a good time to find him. Good. Seeing that the two most prestigious people in the entire tribe all made such a decision, the other warriors also agreed. Not long. The elite soldiers of Sandia are fully armed and set off. Fex. After listening to what Konus and his daughter said about Enel, Luffy already understands how many bad things Enel has done. A guy who directly destroys his own hometown is still so insane. Although it's just Konus's father's one sided words, but judging from Enel's actions, at least it's not too bad. So, as long as people from Qinghai come up, all the residents of Angel Island must cooperate with the laws enacted by Enel to guide the people from Qinghai to the Holy Land of God. Robin asked calmly. Yes, in fact, our father and daughter were also sent to lead you to accept the sanctions. I'm sorry. Konus's father knelt down in front of Luffy and others with a plop. I'm sorry. Konus also knelt down. Needless to say this. Dot you can't even control your own life, if you kill you because of this, it would be too unfair. Luffy smiled slightly, reached out and lifted the two of them to their feet. Since this Enel likes to play with ordinary people so much, let's play with him too. Luffy slapped Enel awake. Call. Enel let out a long breath, suddenly saw Luffy, and was about to erupt immediately. Boom. Luffy punches down. Enel sees a flower in front of his eyes, the sky is full of little stars. After waking up a little bit, Enel will have another seizure. Luffy strikes again, it was repeated about a dozen times in a row. 
Enel still explodes every time he wakes up. After all, being a god, for so many years has always been a one-size-fits-all existence. How could Enel be persuaded by such a sudden situation now? In the end, Luffy cut off one of Enel's arms stop. Looking at Enel who didn't dare to resist anymore, Luffy said lightly, You go ahead. Let's go to Cute Street. Usopp went up and kicked Enel. What are you looking at? Don't break your other hand. Following the ladder of clouds to Angel Island, many people noticed Luffy and his party along the way. But when they saw Enel with a broken arm, they all opened their mouths in shock. Konus's father also briefly explained the situation to the people around him from time to time. Cute Street is the busiest place in Angel Island. When Luffy and his group came here, there were already many melon eaters behind them. And the pedestrians on Cute Street have also noticed the situation here. Kneel down. Konus dared to be bold, and scolded Enel. Normally, even if Enel has already ended like this, Konus would not dare to yell at him. But Luffy insisted on her doing this, and even threatened her deliberately, if she didn't do this, she would let Enel go, regardless of the things here. No way, Konus can only bite the bullet, Luffy has asked him to practice many times along the way. Now, when the people from Sky Island gather around, the fun will officially begin. When Konus yelled, kneel down, the people around were completely stunned. It actually made God kneel. This is simply unimaginable. However, what makes them even more unimaginable is. The next moment, Enel really knelt down, ah. Angel Island people opened their mouths wide open, and watched this scene in shock. Konus scolded again. Enel, report your identity. Enel said submissively. I am God Enel. Konus, show everyone a lightning strike. Everyone is dumbfounded. Is this kind of thing okay? While everyone was still stunned, a beam of lightning fell from the sky and struck Enel. Although it did not cause any damage effect, it can make everyone sure of one thing. That is. The person in front of you is indeed the real Enel. Konus continued. Now, apologies to everyone. Enel hurry up and kowtow. While kowtowing and saying apologies. He. He is really a god. I'm not dreaming, am I? God actually apologized to us? He also broke an arm. Hey, Konus, what's going on here? People around are shocked and speak. At this time, Luffy took a knife from Zoro. The black armament hockey covered the body of the knife, and Luffy chopped off Enel's other arm with one knife. Ah! Angel Island people suddenly exclaimed. Luffy looked at everyone. Now! His life and death are up to you. Those who agree to kill him raise their right hands, and those who don't want to kill him raise their hands. If more than 10% of the people don't want him to die, then I won't kill him. Abstention is not allowed. Those who abstain, I will kill them directly. Now, start voting with a show of hands. The reason for asking everyone to show their hands to vote, Luffy is also for the sake of caution. As long as Enel is really the crazy bastard that the Konus father and daughter said, then there will be no surprises in this vote. When Luffy's cold and stern eyes swept over everyone, everyone subconsciously raised their hands and mouths. Observation hockey covered out. Sure enough, unanimously approved. Crack. Enel's head gurgled and rolled out. Oh. Good kill. Very good. Seeing Enel's death with my own eyes, the people of Angel Island are completely excited. After Enel is dealt with, Luffy and his party and Kona's father and daughter return to Konus's home. The island of the gods seems to be J. Although Zoro's observation hockey is not as perverted as Luffy's, Konus's house is not too far from the island of the gods, and Zoro can still perceive part of the situation on the island. Luffy nodded. Well, it's Sandia's group and Enel's remaining gang. Of course, he has no intention of intervening in this battle at all. They have no friendship with Sandia, so there is no need to go to the pole to help others. Besides, when I first arrived in the sky, I was attacked by a Sandia warrior. It was kind of me not to kill him. As for killing Enel, it was purely because Enel killed himself. Take the initiative to provoke Luffy and his party. Then I didn't succeed in provoking him, and I actually wanted to ride on my face. Luffy is not made of mud, so can we not deal with him? Then. I heard about Enel's brilliant deeds from the Konus father and daughter. Luffy is completely determined to kill Enel. Nami gently tugged at Luffy. 
Luffy, should we come forward to help the people of Angel Island and Sandia to coordinate, and persuade them to sing a truce? After all, they are people who have suffered in their hometown. Nami very much hopes that others can live in peace. It turned out that Luffy just smiled and shook his head. After all, we are not the saviors, and it is impossible to control all corners of the world, let's not interfere in the next thing. Nami didn't seem to give up yet, and whispered, but. Didn't we do well in the main country of Alabasta before? That's different. Nami. Dot you have to know. Whether it's Crocodile or the current Enel, they are actually destroyers of the balance. Alabasta was at peace till Crocodile did not go to Alabasta, and until Enel came here the angels and. Sandia has been fighting for 400 years, and this is also a kind of balance. If the two of them really hope to live in peace, even without our intervention, they will sooner or later go to the road of peace. Although I can use powerful force to force the two parties to sign a peace agreement, but this kind of forced peace, once there is no force to suppress, it will only collapse. Err. At this time, Luffy looked at Nami. Nami, let me ask you, shall we live in the sky forever? Nami didn't answer Luffy's question, because she already understood what Luffy meant. She lowered her head and said sincerely, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have questioned you at. Ah ha ha, there is nothing wrong with questioning. Only through questioning and understanding again and again can we establish a tacit understanding of trust between our partners, Luffy ha ha. Smiled and rubbed Nami's head, Nami seemed to enjoy it, her cheeks turned red. Monkey D. Luffy. They don't care about Sky Island anymore, but. I think I did the right thing over there. Nico Robin. That's right. I think Red Luffy is right too. Nami. Thinking about it carefully, after we left Sky Island, the reason why Angel Island and the Shandia were able to live in peace is mainly because both sides have always recognized Gamfor's peace. Flat idea. Vin Smoke Sanji. Yes, Sister Konus's father told us that before Enel appeared, Ganford had been proposing peace between the two sides. Usopp. So. With Enel over there killed, the only thing standing in the way of their peace is gone. Anyway, they're going to make peace eventually. Gion. The peace established by the two sides independently will definitely be much more stable than the peace established by the influence of external forces. Ding. Enter the prize winning answering session. At this moment, a question appeared on the big screen. Question. What will the Red Luffy group do next? A. Go to the end of the cloud and return to Qinghai from there. B. Go back the way you came and land in Qinghai. C. Not going anywhere, live in Sky Island and learn how to breed. D. Being involved in the war between Sandia and the natives of Sky Island, help Sandia win. E. Being involved in the war between Sandia and Sky Island Aborigines, help the Aboriginals of Angel Island to win. Rocks D. Zebek. Okay, here comes the question again. After holding back for two rounds, this time I can finally continue to answer the questions again, Rox is so happy. Shiki. Huh. I can answer too. Sangoku, choose B. Gold D. Roger. B. Rox D. Zebek. B. Shiki. You guys, horse riders. Seeing someone rushing to answer suddenly, Shiki realized that the answer to this question is obvious. In the previous video, Luffy mentioned that he will come back to exchange the bounties from the pirates in Magic Valley Town. If you think about it this way, the possibility of option B can be said to be very high. Edward Newgate. Ah. It's too late. Whitebeard hasn't done it for a long time, but just as he was about to do this question, someone took the lead, so he was very depressed. Crocodile. C. Don Quixote da Flamingo, F. U. Furfur. Are you stupid? Crocodile. Stop talking nonsense. Which one Lousy chooses is none of your business. Shaki. Damn it. I choose C2. Choice C looks like the chosen one. As a dead person, even if the answer is wrong, there is no need to deduct life anyway. Although option B, which is the most similar to the correct answer, has already been chosen, but Shaki doesn't want to waste the exact time for this question. Who knows if the next question will be an even more bizarre one? Or even if the answer is obvious, is it answered by someone else? Why don't you just answer the questions when you get the chance? Even if you make a mistake, 
you can enter the cooling time earlier and continue the customer service earlier. Don't answer this question. Don't answer the next question. If there are no questions later, wouldn't you be so angry? Crane. A is related to B, and D is related to E. If you look at it this way, option C is indeed possible. Goal D Roger. Then you choose. Crane. I'm old. This kind of thing is almost still left to young people, boy Roger. Don't you think so? Goal D Roger. Haha. <laughs> Why does it feel a bit sour? Countdown to answer the question. 10. 9. 1. With the end of the countdown to answering the question, the screen in the red frame video continued to play. Luffy. We also promised Uncle Cooley Guy to help him find out if the so-called Golden Town is in Sky Island. When are we going to find the Golden Clock? Usopp asked. Luffy said. This matter is not a matter of rush, but since it has been confirmed that the Island of the Gods is a part of Gaia Island, then if there is no accident. The Golden Bell must be on the Island of the Gods. We will explore a little bit every day for the next period of time, and we will definitely find yellow ones. Explore a little every day. What do we do the rest of the time? Nami asked with some doubts. This. Luffy picked up the shellfish on the table, in the next period of time, we will learn how to raise various shellfish on Sky Island. Ah? When everyone heard it, Luffy's expression was stunned. Usopp didn't understand very much, he said suspiciously, no. Can't we buy these shellfish directly? Konus also nodded. That's right. You can buy it on Cute Street. Although the quantity is very limited, you can definitely buy it. Luffy smiled. You also said that the quantity is limited. Moreover, when I was talking with your father, your father said that some shellfish are almost extinct, and the number of such shellfish and shellfish is even less pitiful. Haven't you thought about why this is the case? Konus was taken aback for a moment, and then said softly, because these shells are very useful, so the collection is too much. This is one reason. Luffy nodded, and continued, but the most important reason is that none of you can maintain a continuous supply relationship between shellfish and humans. One-sided endless demands, everything will eventually be demanded and dried up. But if we can raise shellfish independently, then all kinds of shellfish will be continuously regenerated, so that Sky Island can get endless shellfish resources. After listening to Luffy's thoughts, everyone froze in place. Can shellfish be farmed? You know, in this world, because the ocean occupies more than 95% of the world's area, fish resources are very rich. As long as you go to sea, you can catch exotic fish. Compared to the number of marine life, the proportion of human beings is pitifully small. Even if all human beings run to the seaside to eat together, three meals of small grilled fish a day, it is impossible to eat more than the speed of marine life regeneration. So, in this world, no one breeds marine life, at most there are poultry and livestock. Even Sky Island. Kakai is so big, but there are only a few Sky Islands. The creatures in the Kakai are definitely enough to provide food for the people of Sky Island. In such a big background farming marine life becomes a blind spot. It's even impossible for someone to think about it, because it's so stupid. When Luffy proposed to raise Sky Island shellfish, the first reaction of the people present was unreasonable. But think about it carefully, it seems. What Luffy said makes a lot of sense. Konus's eyes suddenly burst into light. Yes. Why didn't I think of it? Since many shellfish are about to become extinct, why can't we raise them artificially? Nami also understood, and immediately exclaimed. Luffy, your idea is too constructive. Robin also murmured in shock. I never expected. To hear such absurd things about farming shellfish in my lifetime. But I still feel that it is hashtag aw. Okay. Since everyone agrees. From now on, we will be exactly eight people, paired in pairs, and divided into four groups to observe and record the living habits of shellfish on the shallows. I'm with Luffy. Nami immediately hugged Luffy's arm. Then Robin Chan and I. Sanji suddenly looked at Robin with red eyes. However, Robin hugged Chopper directly. I'm with Chopper. Sanji suddenly burst into tears, rocks d. Zebek. Ah. How could this happen? How could someone in this world do such an idiotic thing? I can't take it. Shit. I can't take it. Farming marine life is the absolute equivalent of total idiocy in this world. You have worked hard to farm for a year and harvested a ton of fish. 
people just go out and cast a net, harvest two tons of fish. That's why farming marine life is considered a fool's errand. Sengoku. Damn. Damn damn damn. Damn Red Luffy. For doing such a thing, is he an idiot? Gold D. Roger. Hey. It's all because Sengoku is so unlucky. Next time you kill him, you can't drink him and choose the same one. Shaki. I don't have any hope for this question at all, I didn't expect it to be right. Jihahaha. Roger, I'm going to be resurrected. Rocks, I'm going to be resurrected. Haha. <laughs> Rocks D. Zebek. F asterisk KU. Your reward is definitely not resurrection. Gold D. Roger. Tisk tisk. This sour smell can be smelled across the chat room. Charlotte Linlin. Isn't Captain Rocks crazy? Kaido. Haha. <laughs> Don Quixote da Flamingo. How can the answer to this question be so outrageous? Sand Crocodile, can you get this right? Sir Crocodile. I miss you. I just think this option is like the correct answer. Ding. Anyone who answers wrongly in this prize quiz will be punished. Rocks D. Zebek, deprived of the right to answer the next two rounds. Sengoku, deprived of the right to answer the next round of questions, deduct 11 months and 28 days of life. Gold D. Roger, the right to answer the next round of questions will be deprived, and 8 months of life will be deducted. Gold D. Roger. PFFFF. 11 months and 28 days. Sengoku, you almost hit the Grand Slam. Shaki. Gia ha 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 ha. What is character? This is called character. Last time Sengoku deducted 9 months or 10 months of life, this time it is almost. Edward Newgate. Man. If you do too many wicked things, the South Gate will suffer retribution. G U la 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 la. Charlotte Linlin. Sengoku is an old thing, another year has been deducted from his life, won't he die of old age right away? Sengoku. Bastard Roger. You don't need me any better. Gold D. Roger. But I'm young. Shaki. Yeah. But Roger is young. And I'm going to be young soon, jahahahaha. Rocks D. Zebek. Bastard Golden Lion. Your rewards haven't come out yet. Will you be resurrected and cry you to death later? Ding. The top three correct answers to this quiz are Sir Crocodile, Shaki, and Bai. Congratulations to both of you, get rewards. Congratulations to Sir Crocodile, reward blood successor boundary, magnet style. Congratulations Shaki, rewarded with a chance to revive. Shaki. Okay. Jahahaha. Roger, I'm going to be resurrected. Let's join forces this time and turn naval headquarters upside down. Sakazuki. Stop wishful thinking. With me here, if you dare to resurrect in naval headquarters, I will let you go back to the underworld again. Edward Newgate. Magma boy, stop talking. Don't forget Golden Lion's fruit ability, he will imitate Marineford, and you will be over. Goo. Sengoku. Damn. Why is this happening? One year older all of a sudden, Sengoku found that his hair has become more beautiful. The strength of the body is further weakened. Although he was rewarded with the cassock of Dewey Tianlong, but if he grows old like this, any ability will be useless. Crane. Sengoku, don't mess up there are still questions to answer. Our marines haven't lost yet. Zephyr. Yes, although you are one year older, Garp and I are younger. Don't worry. Monkey D. Garp. That's right. Don't worry, Zephyr and I are here. Sengoku. It used to be hard, but now it's even worse. Thank you both for your comfort. Ding. Because the blood successor boundary, magnet style, as a magical thing from Otherworld, a special note is made. Boundary of blood succession, revised, magnet style remarks. The five basic escape techniques are water style, fire style, earth style, wind style, lightning style. The fusion of wind style and earth style will produce magnet style. Don Quixote da Flamingo. Wow. I actually got a reward of the same level as me. But without my line and my own ability contract. Pro. Sir Crocodile. Sorry, clown. This magnet style is specially made for sand. When the movie is over, I'll let you try my sandburst funeral. Jinbei. All you have obtained is this so-called blood succession boundary escape technique, which sounds very powerful. Sakazuki. That's pretty awesome, especially my lava style. 
Paluzolino. Give me one sometime. The battle between the Sandia warriors and the priests and warriors has begun. However, the Angel Clan didn't take the opportunity to attack Sandia, but under the leadership of the former god Gamfor, they also went to the other side's priests and soldiers. The Straw Hat pirates started to record Bailey's life habits. Of course, they didn't do this for the people of Sky Island, but for themselves. According to Luffy's idea, when you leave Sky Island, you must bring every kind of Bailey's seedlings, and when you return to Qinghai, everything will be 12,000 voyages. Breed a variety of Baileys. Father and daughter Konus also joined the Straw Hat team. After they understand what Luffy said, they also plan to learn shellfish farming and create a prototype of sustainable development for the future of Sky Island. Oot. The Straw Hat pirates and their team will spend a few extra hours every day in addition to their normal practice to study shellfish farming. A. The life of the Straw Hat pirates and Kona's father and daughter is still the same. But I heard that Sandia and the Angel Island tribe have teamed up to defeat all the priests and soldiers. Then. Shandia and the Angel soldiers led by Ganfer had another small-scale conflict, but Ganfer ordered the Angel soldiers to exercise restraint. The chief from Sandia also stood up and called for an end to the war. A month later, the Straw Hat pirates and Kona's father and daughter have completely recorded the living habits of all shellfish and started breeding experiments. And the relationship between Sandia and the Angel race began to ease. Both sides have already begun to migrate many residents to the Isle of Gods. Everyone has a tacit understanding Sandia is in the north, and the Angel clan is in the south, separated by a river. Time flies, two months later, the first farmed Bailey has been certified. However, because of the long growth cycle of shock shellfish and roe shellfish, they are still in the experiment. The migration of Sandia and Angel Clan has been completed very smoothly. They all own part of the land now and can grow food. At the same time, they began to build a new ring island around the Island of Gods with the cut island clouds. The living environment became more and more relaxed. Another week has passed. Luffy took the perfect experimental record and announced happily, so far, we have mastered all the shellfish farming methods except shellfish removal. Next. We are going to fulfill our promise to Uncle Jun Ligai. Good. When I heard that I was going to find the Golden Bell, my partners were very happy. But at this moment, a beautiful melody suddenly resounded from the direction of the Island of Gods. Golden Bell. It rang. Capone Beige. The golden bell over there rang by itself. Trafalgar Law. Obviously, the people of Sky Island rang it themselves. Usopp. The situation over there is really as Red Luffy speculated, the Sandias and the natives of Sky Island have slowly established a peaceful survival mode. Nami. Yes. The half of the island where the Sandians live is the half of the island where the golden bell is located. As the descendants of the great warrior Calgara, they rang the golden bell with their own hands. Monkey D. Luffy. The golden bell was ringing by the descendants of the great warrior Calgara and passed on to the ears of Mont Blanc Nolando's descendants. This is really as Uncle Cooligai said, so romantic. Mont Blanc Nolando. This is the romance of a man. Calgola. Yeah. This romance is like our friendship, it will never go out of style. Luffy. This is. The sound of the golden bell suddenly heard the melody of the golden bell, Nami shouted in surprise. Although Nami has never heard the sound of a golden bell before, there are some things that you can immediately recognize even if you touch it for the first time. Such a beautiful melody suddenly sounded on the entire sky island, except for the sound of the golden bell, it can't be anything else. Can't be wrong. This beautiful bell must be ringing the golden bell. Luffy nodded, he stretched and laughed heartily. It seems that we don't need to find it ourselves, haha. I believe that Uncle Cooley Guy has already heard the melody of the Golden Bell, but. Let's go and ring the Golden Bell too, it can be regarded as fulfilling the promise to Uncle Cooley Guy, Luffy said. Yeah. Everyone was excited, Island of the Gods. When the Straw Hat Pirates came to the Shandora ruins, a large number of Sandias and Sky Island Aboriginals had gathered here. They were all attracted by the wonderful bell of the Golden Bell. The great warrior Wapa is standing on the base of the Golden Clock, using them to build a bumper that is hitting the clock face. This is already the hundredth collision, and he was crying while knocking. 
probably exhausted, he let go of the hammer, knelt down on the ground, looked up at the sky. Calgara. We did it. We did it. The lamp of Shandora we lit again for you. The lamp of Shandora. The lamp of Shandora. People in Sandia are all cheering excitedly. The aborigine of Sky Island was also moved to tears by this touching scene. At this moment, a voice suddenly shouted, Hey, can we knock too? This sound is not loud, but it can be heard clearly by everyone. Everyone present subconsciously cast their eyes on the owner of the voice. Ah! It's him. He is the Qinghai man who killed Enel. My god! I thought they had already left, but they are still on Sky Island. When Luffy killed Enel, he went to Cute Street to kill Enel, just to eliminate the psychological shadow that Enel left on the people of Sky Island. After that, Luffy and others started a long and patient study of aquaculture, so those who saw the Straw Hat Pirates, thought that Luffy and others had left Sky Island long ago. Of course there is one person who actually knows, Aisha from Sandia. It's just that, in order not to cause everyone to panic, Aisha didn't say that Luffy and the Qinghai people are still on Sky Island. Now, when Luffy and his group appear here, I feel a little scared. This is the one who can kill Enel. Are they going to be the new, Enel? Suddenly, Aisha, who was standing beside the chief of Sandia, said timidly, He. They are. Dot the ones who killed Enel. It's them. Hearing this, all the warriors in Sandia immediately became vigilant. On the pedestal of the golden clock, Wappa stood up, staring at Luffy and the others solemnly. What are you doing? On the other side, on the side of the natives of Sky Island, Ganfer also rode his Pegasus to Wappa's side, which seems to express the strong alliance between the natives of Sky Island and the Shandia. Ganfer first gave a salute to Luffy and his group, and then said, Mighty Qinghai people, we are very grateful to you for eliminating that bastard Enel. I don't know why you came to visit suddenly. If you are a guest, we are very welcome. After all, he is a man who has been a god, and his words are impeccable. But at the same time, you are implying. If you are not here as guests, but have some bad ideas, then we will definitely not sit still. Luffy pointed at the golden clock and said calmly, I'm here for it. What? As soon as these words came out, all the people from Sky Island were all furious. Especially the soldiers of Sandia, all raised their weapons. As for the natives of Sky Island, some of them also raised their weapons, but those who saw Luffy beheading Enel with their own eyes didn't have the courage to raise their weapons at all. You were actually trying to get your hands on the lamp of Shandora. The great warrior Wappa glared angrily, and immediately raised the incendiary cannon on his body. Ganfer also raised his spear and sighed, he cherishes this hard one piece very much. Now if someone wants to destroy this piece, no matter who they are, they can only desperately guard this piece. Luffy smiled slightly. Everyone be safe and don't be impatient. I want to share with you a storybook about us in Qinghai. Who wants to hear your shitty stories? If you want to fight, fight. We are not afraid of death. Even if we risk our lives, we must protect our land. Our angel clan and Sandia advance and retreat together. That's right. Yindi is the common homeland of Sandia and the angel race. Tashigi. Red Luffy. Why didn't he tell everyone the truth? If everyone knew the truth, they wouldn't be so hostile to them. Jewelry Bonnie. What you said. Even if you tell the truth, it must be a process. Who can tell everything in a few seconds? Skulikman app. Even if you really say everything in a few seconds, I'm afraid the speed of speech is so fast that other people can't understand anything, blah blah blah. Gold D. Roger. This marine kid. You don't understand what Red Luffy is doing. Crane. Indeed, what Red Luffy did is not stupid. On the contrary, he is very smart. Gion. Red Luffy only used one sentence to strengthen the relationship between the Shandia and the Angel Clan. Nico Robin. Looking at the way they fight against each other, it is obvious that they cherish this hard one piece even more. Sorry. I'm not discussing with you, whether you want to hear it or not, I must share this story with you. While speaking, an incomparable and powerful deterrent instantly spread from Luffy's body. The terrifying coercion is like a giant palm falling from the sky, suppressing everyone at once. At this moment, everyone feels as if a big hand is holding them firmly, they can't even move, let alone fight. 
Ganfer's big bird hummed, then changed back to its original form, and landed beside Wapa with Ganfer. Wapa and Ganford are the same, at this time it seems that they are directly bound by some kind of terrifying shackles, and they can't move. Then, Luffy looked at Nami, share it with them. Um. Nami nodded, then took out the story of Nolando the Great Liar, from his small bag, and began to read it to everyone. At first, everyone thought it was inexplicable, but when the name Calgara appeared, all the Sandians widened their eyes in shock. That's the name of their ancestors. And the other man named Mont Blanc Nolando obviously established a deep friendship with Calgara in 400 years, and also saved the existence of Sandia. Then, because the island where the Sandia lived was washed up into the sky, Mont Blanc Nolando was regarded as a big liar by the people of the whole world, and all his previous adventure stories were also designated as lies. In order to stick to this friendship, Calgola asked the descendants to light the lamp of Shandora no matter what, because he was afraid that one day, when Nolando or the descendants of Nolando wanted to come to the island again, they could not find their way. When the story was finished, everyone present was silent. The great warrior Wapa burst into tears. The old chief also has tears in his eyes. Ancestor's friend actually endured so many years of unjust injustice. After listening to this story, when Wapa looked at Luffy and the others again, there was no vigilance or anger in his eyes. He choked with sobs and said, You guys actually want to ring the golden bell, right? Luffy nodded. Yes. In the sea area of Qinghai below Sky Island, there is an uncle named Mont Blanc Coolie Guy. We were entrusted by him to come up to see if the gold is in the sky. Wait. You said that uncle's surname is Mont Blanc. Suddenly realizing something, Wapa's eyes widened. Luffy continued. That's right. This uncle is actually a descendant of Mont Blanc Nolando. Because Nolando is regarded by the world as a big liar, so his descendants also. Generations are ridiculed. And what this uncle wants to do is to find the truth. Ah. Wapa is extremely shocked. I didn't expect God to make a joke 400 years ago, which caused a whole family to suffer ridicule for 400 years. Thinking of this, Wapa stepped sideways out of the way, and said in a deep voice, Friends from Qinghai, come over and light the lamp of Shandora. You are taking the promise made years ago came, and only when you ring the golden bell with your own hands, can you fulfill the long-cherished wish of your ancestors 400 years ago. Wapa shouted loudly. Okay. Thank you for allowing us to fulfill our promise to Uncle Cooley Guy. Luffy smiled and said, he walked towards the base of the golden clock, and walked up the stone steps step by step. The moment when Luffy rings the golden bell. The sky is blue and the clouds are white, in a daze, a red-haired warrior with a spear in his hand and a chestnut-headed man in a black windbreaker seem to quietly appear in the sky. The two look at each other and smile, then dissipate with the wind. Afterwards, the members of the Straw Hat Pirates went up one by one to have a good time, and they rang the golden bell one after another. When I came down, Robin suddenly noticed the material of the base of the golden clock. Huh. This is. She subconsciously stretched out her hand to push away the branches attached to the surface. History text. Several members of the Straw Hat Pirates exclaimed at the same time. All the surrounding Sky Island people cast their gazes over. After some explanations, Robin and Luffy came to translate the text on this historical text. Luffy is currently a half translation, basically half translation and half. Buggy couldn't understand either, and walked to the side boredly. However, when he walked to the side of the historical lineup steel, he suddenly said in surprise, Huh. There is also the same type of text here, but only a short sentence? Robin came over, his beautiful eyes narrowed slightly, and he started to read. I have been here, and brought this article to the end of the world. Signed, Pirate Gold D. Roger. Captain Roger. When he heard this name, Buggy was shocked and exclaimed. At this time, Ganfort said, Is Roger's name written on it? If I remember the time correctly, he is a pirate from Qinghai who came here many years ago. The captain actually came here, and then I came here too. Buggy's eyes show shock. Roger was born in East Blue, and when he arrived here from East Blue, Buggy hadn't boarded the boat yet. But now, when he, Buggy, followed the Straw Hat Pirates and set sail again, also departed from East Blue. And now I have come to the place where Roger used to be. 
Is this a coincidence? At this time, Ganford looked at Luffy again. Speaking of which, your straw hat is really similar to Roger's straw hat. Could it be that he gave it to you? Luffy was taken aback for a moment, then laughed. Ah. Uh, no. Shanks gave me my straw hat, haha. <laughs> what? Shanks. When I heard this, Buggy's eyeballs were about to pop out. When he met Luffy for the first time, he felt that Luffy's straw hat looked familiar. At that time, he also wondered if Luffy's straw hat belonged to Shanks. However, he thought at the time that the straw hat was given to Shanks by Captain Roger, how could Shanks give it to someone else? So Buggy didn't think about that again however, hearing Luffy say that now, he was completely stunned. Luffy. You were wrong, this straw hat belongs to Captain Roger. When the Roger pirates disbanded, the captain gave his straw hat to Shanks, he wanted. Shanks will inherit his legacy and become the next generation of One Piece. I didn't expect Shanks to give you this straw hat. Ah. Uh, no. No. Shanks didn't give you the straw hat, he must have entrusted Captain Roger's legacy to you. God. Buggy's eyes zoomed in, he hugged his head, shocked. When the Roger pirates went to Raftel, he couldn't keep up. And this time. When he embarked on the journey with the wish to go to Raftel again. His captain is actually the one who inherited Roger's legacy. The gear of fate. So amazing. Shanks. Haha. <laughs> the buggy over there is stunned. How can fate be so magical? Gold D. Roger. This is also very good. At the beginning, you two little guys, one passed on my will to Luffy, and the other will go to Raftel with Luffy. Haha. <laughs> Great. Buggy. Captain, do you really approve of Straw Hat Kid? Gold D. Roger. Yeah. Totally approved. Edward Newgate. G. U. La 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 la. Nani? Is this straw hat of mine actually the hat of Roger the Pirate King? When Buggy said that, Luffy was also very surprised. I never expected that the straw hat of One Piece would appear in a small village in East Blue, and it was outrageously reached in his hands. He still remembers that when the Red Hair Pirates were about to leave Windmill Village, the Red Hair said that he would leave the straw hat to him as a souvenir. Luffy never expected that the straw hat has such a special meaning. Suddenly, he looked at Buggy. Wait a minute, why do you know so clearly? Although Luffy guessed some possibility, but he still wants to hear Buggy say it himself. Buggy looked at Luffy. Of course I know, because Shanks and I were both interns of Roger Pirates. What? The rest of the straw hat pirates all opened their mouths in horror. My god, after a long time, we still have the crew of the original One Piece on board. Call. Although I guessed it, Luffy still feels very shocked. I also think this is amazing. Shanks gave him Roger's hat, saw Roger's message here on Sky Island, and Buggy said it all. As if it is destined in the dark, but then he drove this ridiculous idea out of his mind. There is no such thing as predestined. Everything is just a matter of man-made. After the Shandora's lamp incident is over, the Straw Hat Pirates are preparing to leave Sky Island. Because of this matter, the Sandia people are full of gratitude to the Straw Hat Pirates. And the Angels are also very grateful to the Straw Hat Pirates because of Enel's time. Now the Straw Hat Pirates are leaving, they will give a huge golden pillar to the Straw Hat Pirates. Afterwards, the Mary came to Konus's house and began to move a lot of breeding equipment. Sound shells, light shells, image shells, water shells, taste shells, wind shells, blowing wind shells, flame shells, hot shells, water shells, flash shells, impact shells, these have brought a lot, don't worry about not having seedlings to cultivate in the future. As for Pai there is really no living one. Although the great warrior Wapa has a platoon shell, it is the corpse of a platoon shell and cannot be bred. A whole set of farming ecosystem was moved to the rear deck of the Meli. Although according to Luffy's idea, the seawater in Qinghua is estimated to be able to grow these shellfish after certain adjustments, but for the sake of insurance, they brought 100 full of empty seawater. Although the water shell is small in size, don't doubt its capacity. In Sky Island, water shells can be used as firefighting tools. One can imagine how much seawater a water shell can hold. Mary came to Bai Bai Hai next to Angel Beach, and then landed directly in Bai Hai with a luffy hot air balloon. Afterwards, Zoro pierced through the White Sea again, and the Mary fell from the White Sea. When they landed in Qinghai, 
everyone looked up at the sky subconsciously. It was an unreal feeling. As if I just experienced a fantasy adventure dream. Look at me Mara Mara fruit. Usopp's palm is attached to a flame shell, facing the sea as a burst of flames. I am also a Mara Mara fruit capable. Nami's hands are breathing fire, it's spectacular. Haha. Ha. We are all Mara Mara fruit capable users. After all, it is a toy that I cultivated hard, and everyone is very happy to play. Portgas D Ace. This per capita Mara Mara fruit ability. As an ability user of Mara Mara fruit, seeing others can breathe fire at will, his mood is a bit broken at this time. Charlotte Owen. I can understand your feelings, seeing those hot shells, I feel that my fruit ability is also rotten. Crane. Your focus is wrong. Obviously, water shells are the most threatening weapon. Charlotte Linlin. You mean the water shells are filled with seawater, posing a threat to capable users? Shaki. Hey? It seems that this is indeed possible. If this is the case, the water shell has become a treasure. I don't know if there are any water shells on the Sky Island here. I will fly over to see when I find time. Gold D. Roger. If you have some, bring me some. Shaki. It's easy to say. When the beauty arrived at Gaia Island again, Luffy and his group met with Cooley Guy again, and everyone had a lively banquet together. Two days later, the Mary arrived in Magic Valley Town. Luffy wrapped his arms around the golden clock and jumped directly onto the pier. He shouted, Everyone come and have a look. Whoever can lift this golden pillar will give it to him. Afterwards, Luffy jumped up, inserted the golden pillar directly into the ground, and then went back to the Mary. The eyes of the pirates on the pier were completely attracted by this huge golden pillar. Some of the young people rushed to the town to report this to their captain. Soon, the news spread completely in Magic Valley Town. Seeing more and more pirates coming to the pier, Luffy's back molars are all exposed when he smiles. Nami kept flipping through the reward booklet, and kept talking about how much this is, how much that is, his mouth was full of joy. Such a huge golden pillar, it is impossible for a single pirate to pull it out. Get out of the way, that person is coming. It's over, he's here, this golden pillar must belong to him. The people of the great pirates are coming. Their captain, Red Potato, is a power user who has the power of the fruit, and it is infinite. With the emergence of the largest pirate force currently staying in a certain ancient town, the pirates on the pier automatically created a passage. Red Potato brought a group of vicious pirates to the Golden Pillar. He is nearly three meters tall, with both hands, the Force Fruit ability is activated. Boom! As the ground cracked, Kuda's Golden Pillar was picked up by him. He laughed loudly. Ha ha! Such a big Golden Pillar is mine now. Boom! The terrifying Conqueror's hockey pressure instantly covered the audience. At the pier, there is no one standing at the pier. Yeah! It's yours now! But now it's my trophy. Luffy leaned on the railing, chuckled, and then said to his partners. A few hours later, the Straw Hat Pirates and their team finished loading all these pirates. Two big boats are loaded. When the Mary left Mogu Town with two big ships. After a long time, dozens of figures appeared one after another in the streets and alleys of Magic Valley Town. Either they didn't go to watch the fun, or they didn't catch up to watch the fun. I didn't expect to escape because of this, everyone patted their hearts, it feels so good to be alive. Shaki. This guy, he really treats pirates as cash machines. Gold D. Roger. Although this will damage the reputation of pirates, it seems to be a way to make a fortune. Kazuki Odin. A bounty hunter in pirate skin. Sengoku. HMPH. If all pirates could be like them, then the number of people harmed by pirates would be greatly reduced. Edward Newgate. Did you hear me right? Sengoku is actually speaking for Red Luffy? Sengoku. HMPH. I'm just telling the truth. Gion. The Marshal is right. Although the Red Luffy over there finally became a pirate, but their way of catching pirates for bounties actually indirectly helped many civilians. Monkey D. Garp. Stupid Luffy. Look at the Red Luffy. Learn. Monkey D. Luffy. Oh. Gaia Island is quite far from the next island, Lilith Island. Normally, it may take 10 days to half a month to sail. 
however, it only took five days for the Mary and the two cargo ships to arrive. The reason is very simple, because the Straw Hat pirates have more than 200 jets. Among them, 200 blast shells were deducted from Enel's Ark Proverbs. This is a product that Enel has stored for several years, and it turned out to be cheaper than the Straw Hat pirates. That night, the full moon is like a bucket. The bright moonlight illuminates the seventh branch of Marine very brightly. But this does not prevent the five members of the Straw Hats from doing things. Wooden stick in hand, I have the world. No one knocked in with a crackling. When I came to the base chief's bedroom, who? Lucky Commodore got up from the bed in a hurry. He looked at the five black shadows that suddenly broke in and shouted, This is the base of the seventh branch of the Marine. You people are crazy. Huh? Just about to use the name of Marine to threaten the opponent, but suddenly, Loki Commodore's eyes lit up. F asterisk K. Isn't this my god of wealth? Before he was a colonel in the 19th branch of the Marine for several years, not only did he not get any lucrative money, but this rank has never been promoted. Until that day, five thugs attacked at night. Not only did he have a small private treasury, but he was also directly promoted to Commodore because he captured a large number of pirates. He originally thought that Commodore was the end of his life, and he spent the rest of his life in Lilith Island. But he never expected that the original five, big benefactor, actually appeared again. This makes him so excited. If it wasn't for saving face, Loki Commodore would directly knock one of the five people in front of him for the truth now. I'm sorry. You sleep for a while Luffy walked over with a wooden stick. Wait. Loki Commodore shouted suddenly. Um? Luffy was a little confused, subconsciously stopped. Is this guy going to fight again? Loki Commodore looks around in the bedroom, seems to be looking for something. No, I have to have a sense of participation in something as important as getting promoted and getting rich. He muttered in a voice that only he could hear, then he looked towards the wall. HMPH. Don't bother everyone, I'll do it myself. Loki Commodore slammed his head against the wall, and passed out neatly. Luffy looked back at the four people behind him with a dazed expression. The four of them shook their heads at the same time. Don't look at us, we don't understand, Hina. This. Isn't this. Colonel Rocky? Loki. Ahem. The me over there is Commodore now. Spratch man up. Ah, blah, blah. I said. Why does this guy look so familiar? It turned out to be Colonel Marine who was knocked out by the Straw Hat pirates before. X Drake. I remember. He said that those pirates that the Straw Hat pirates took for bounties were captured by him through bloody battles, and then he was promoted because of this. Match. Shaki. Gia ha 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 ha. The horseman. So this is the talent. Why does he look familiar? Gold D Roger. This guy. It's unlucky for others to meet the Straw Hat Pirates, but when he meets the Straw Hat Pirates, he will be promoted directly and get rich. Ha <laughs> ha. Edward Newgate. Look at the situation, this time you have to get promoted and get rich. Marco. Ha <laughs> ha. The Straw Hat Pirates brought so many pirates this time, if he caught all of them, I'm afraid they would be directly promoted to Rear Admiral. Guion. As far as the matter is concerned, the number of pirates with a large base, not to mention being promoted to rear admiral, even the merits of being promoted to vice admiral are enough. Of course. If he. If the strength is not enough, it should only be promoted to rear admiral. When the five members of the Straw Hat Pirates came out of the vault at the base of the seventh branch of the Marine, everyone brought a lot of treasure chests. As expected of the seventh branch, really rich, more than one billion baileys, Usopp shouted excitedly. But Buggy said unhappily, we are still at a loss. The number of those pirates, let alone two billion baileys. Zoro nodded. Yes. But there is no way, we can't stay with them any longer, it's still early until the next marine base. However, Luffy laughed. It's okay. I've written down how much money is missing. When we exchange bounties next time, if they have extra money in their treasury, I will. Let's make it up again and again. The other four people immediately praised Luffy for being smart. Huh? By the way, that marine officer just now looks familiar to me. Luffy said suspiciously. Buggy also opened his mouth and said, Ah. Actually, I also feel a bit familiar, but I don't remember where I saw it. Don't think about it, 
We came all the way from the Grand Line. How could we have seen him? I guess he has a public face. Usopp shrugged his shoulders. Okay. Luffy scratched his head. It's not an important matter anyway, so he just didn't think about it. When the Straw Hat Bandit 5 returned to the Mary, the value of the Mary soared to 2.9 billion baileys. In addition to the 2.9 billion baileys, there are many treasures obtained from pirates, and the huge golden clock of Sky Island. If these things are exchanged for money, it is conservatively estimated that the total assets of the Straw Hat Pirates will be upwards of 5 billion. And now, the Straw Hat Pirates are also facing a very important problem. That is, there is too much money, and there is not enough melee electricity. With this trouble, the melee set off again, heading towards the next island, the Chongwan Islands. When the screen arrives here, the red framed video slowly fades away. Not long, the screen with white borders gradually brightened. The screen appears, Luffy and his party arrive at the Long Ring Islands. First, I met the old man Dongjite who was trapped on the island alone. After that, the Fokker West Blue Bandits appeared, and the huge pirate ship trapped the Mary, and they wanted to fight the pirates. The two sides had a duel of three silver coins, and finally the Straw Hat Pirates won the opponent's pirate flag, and Luffy also drew a super ugly pirate flag for the opponent. And then, Marine Admiral Aokiji appeared, in the case of almost killing all the Straw Hat Pirates, Aokiji finally showed mercy to the Straw Hat Pirates and left. Afterwards, the Straw Hat Pirates came to the capital of Seven Waters. When Luffy announced that he was saying goodbye to the Mary, Thorpe went crazy. He and Luffy are on the bar. Usopp offers to fight Luffy, if he can win, he will win the Mary. The battle process was very exciting. Usopp's output was as fierce as a tiger. Although it caused some damage to Luffy, Luffy finally knocked him down with one punch. Stupid. How could you beat me? Luffy knelt on the ground, looking at Usopp who fell on the ground, let out a painful roar. Then, he picked up the straw hat and turned away. Mary, do whatever you like. We will buy a new ship and keep sailing. Goodbye, Usopp. The time with you, I feel very happy. There is no turning back, only the voice of gritted teeth and reluctantly speaking floats on the shore. Monkey D. Luffy. Little Melly, Usopp, I'm really sorry for you. Usopp. Although I am still very angry watching this scene again, but I know that your decision at that time was not wrong. Roronoa Zoro. Yes. In that case, if you continue to take the Mary, then Luffy will not be a qualified captain. Monkey D. Luffy. I never thought that decision was wrong at that time. It's just. I regret. I regret that I didn't take care of Melly. I didn't realize that Melly was not just a ship, but our partner, and then, it was too late. Little Melly. It's okay, you have to learn to grow up now, Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah. Afterwards, Robin was captured by CP9. The group went to Eni's lobby, and a big battle broke out between Eni's lobby and CP9. When Robin hoped that everyone would not save him, Luffy ordered the Sniper King to destroy the flag representing the world government, expressing one thing firmly. That is. Robin. Even if we are against the whole world, we will save you. Afterwards, due to the start of the decisive battle, when CP9 is defeated, the Straw Hat Pirates and their party have reached the point where the oil lamps are exhausted. And Marine as Buster Call also follows, on the escape bridge, the bridge deck was bombed, two isolated piers. Luffy is on one of the piers and the others are on the other. Just when everyone was desperately trying to get Luffy to jump over, Buster Call's artillery bombarded the escape boat too. Shiki. Nani. The escape boat was also destroyed? How did they survive until now? Looking at the situation in the picture, the Straw Hat Pirates should have no chance. But the crew members of the Straw Hat Pirates are still alive, which means they didn't die at that time. How is this going? Gold D. Roger. The pier has become an isolated island, surrounded by five large marine warships. The gun barrel has also been turned around. Edward Newgate. G. U. La La La. The old man is also very curious. How did they survive? Trafalgar Law. The Straw Hats. How did you escape from Ascension here? Monkey D. Luffy. We'll find out soon. Little Melly. He he.
Attention all Marines, aim at the first bridge pier, and destroy Luffy on the way. Luffy, it's dangerous, quickly reach out, cheer up, straw hat. Luffy, stand up, please, looking at Luffy lying motionless on the pier, everyone is about to explode. But at this moment, apart from shouting anxiously, they have nothing to do. Just when everyone thought that Luffy was going to die, suddenly the faces of the straw hat pirates changed drastically. Who? Who? This voice. Usopp held his head, opened his mouth in shock, and looked around. What are you talking about? Is it the voice of my boys? Frankie said. No. It's not from over there. I heard it just now. What? What's down there? Usopp ran towards the edge of the pier. Down? Although Luffy couldn't move, he heard someone calling him. Who are you? Where are you? Nami looked up in surprise, looking around for the source of the voice. What the hell? Sanji also frowned, he heard it too. He told us to look below. Chopper shouted, beside Chopper, Grandma K. Kaluo's granddaughter Chi Mung Ni asked with a confused face, Reindeer, what are you talking about? Trafalgar Law. It's, someone calling them? Jewelry Polly. Judging by their reactions, obviously yes. But why can't anyone else hear this voice except the Straw Hat Pirates? Kid Eustace. Yeah. Looking at other people's reactions, I really can't hear this voice. Gold D. Roger. Hey, hey, isn't it, as this voice. Suddenly thought of something, Roger immediately widened his eyes. Usopp is the first to look under the bridge, with just one glance, his tears burst out like crazy. He yells. Quick. Robin. Get Luffy in the ocean. And everyone, jump into the ocean. Seeing that Usopp is going to make such a crazy move, Zoro immediately shouted, Hey, Usopp, what's the difference between jumping like this and committing suicide? Although he seemed to have heard some sound, but because he was still fighting with the Marines, he didn't look down the bridge, and he didn't have time to think about what the sound was. No. We are saved. He has come to save us. Usopp burst into tears, he grabbed Zoro's collar and shouted, We. Don't have a partner. At this time, Nami, Sanji, Chopper and others also saw the source of the sound under the bridge. Dazzling Hundred Blossom's Great Larkspur. Robin used the Flower Flower Fruit ability, and Lin Luffy directly lifted off the pier. Jump. The other partners of the Straw Hat Pirates also jumped down. As they fell, the sea below appeared in front of everyone's eyes. A sailing ship with the Straw Hat Pirates flag is waiting for everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates in the storm. On the sheep's head on the bow, Although the two pitch black eyes can't move, they are extremely vivid at this moment. Sangoku. What? That? Dot the ship. Hasn't it been towed to the shipbreaking yard? Sakazuki. Impossible. How can a ship whose keel is almost broken sail from the Seven Waters capital to Ini's lobby? Paluzolino. Is this a joke? That ship is covered in bruises, and it took all the luck of the Straw Hat Pirates to reach the capital of the Seven Waters. How could they continue sailing? Gion. Anyone who knows about boats would not dare to take a boat like this. Shaki. Is it my illusion? There seems to be no one on the deck of that ship. There is no steering wheel. How did it come here? Gold D. Roger. My God. I may have guessed it right. If nothing else happens, this ship. He came here by himself. Charlotte Linlin. Nani. Roger. The boat comes by itself. What phone are you talking about? Edward Newgate. No way, do you mean, the ship spirit? What? When Whitebeard mentioned the word, ship spirit, all moviegoers were shocked. F asterisk K. Everyone suddenly remembered. The ship Mary awakened the ship spirit when it was in Sky Island. Can the ship spirit really sail the boat by itself? The main reason is that I have never heard of any ship that has awakened the ship elf before so this is completely a blind spot for everyone. Let's go back together. Let's go on a sea adventure. Everyone. I'm here to take you home. A voice like a lark resounds on the sea. Although I didn't see the person who spoke, everyone knows that this is the voice of the Meli. What? Where did that ship come from? Damn. How did these guys get this ship here by being surrounded by many warships? From the perspective of the pirates, it should be the pirate ship of Straw Hat crew. 
Do you want to shoot and sink it? No. Nico Robin is still up there. He is the one who was specified to be captured alive. Just when the Marines on the Buster call were at a loss, Spandam picked up the radio phone bug and shouted, Listen. Iokiji Admiral ordered. If Nico Robin can't be caught alive, I'll blow the ship up with her. At this time, the huge Uzumaki appeared, Marine's warship was affected by Uzumaki, and lost its aim, and the melee jumped out of Uzumaki directly through the wind-fired cannon, and escaped from the sky. Gion. Oh my god. That ship really saved them. Don Quixote da Flamingo. The boat saves people. It's really unheard of. This world is so wonderful, Wei Ning, it's delicious. Dracul Mihawk. Is this the legendary ship elf? It's really eye opening. Gold D. Roger. There are too many people who regard the ship as a partner, but they can let their sincerity be felt by the ship. At present, this is the only one. Edward Newgate. G. U. La La La. The old man also regards the boat as a partner, but this guy doesn't give face, and he hasn't awakened until now. Charlotte Linlin. Ah ha ha ha. My mother's boat not only gives face, but also can talk. Kaido. Come on. You are evil the ability of the magic fruit has something to do with the ship spirit. When the melee once again carried the straw hat pirates to the capital of Seven Waters. The moment we reach the shore. Crack. The bow of the ship suddenly broke. Ah. Looking at the suddenly disconnected Mary, Luffy immediately lied high. He looked at another ship of Carrera Shipbuilding Company who fled back with them, and shouted anxiously, Uncle, it's bad. Something happened to the Mary. Help me quickly. Ah. The mayor of the Seven Waters City, Ace Bagu, stood on the deck with a group of shipwrights, without speaking, with a heavy expression on his face. Seeing that everyone is silent, Luffy shouted anxiously. It is our companion who has been sailing with us until now. It just saved our lives. Please help us. PB. At that time, I finally understood why Usopp cared so much about Amelie's feelings. I. I'm such a badass captain. On the warship of the Deep Sea Prison, Luffy's eyes were filled with tears, full of remorse. Facing Luffy's request, Ace Bagu sighed heavily. Let him rest assured. I have. Tried my best. As soon as these words came out, Luffy was struck by lightning. He is completely stupid. Ace Bagu looked at the muggle like Luffy, and continued. Did you know? That day. After you went to Eni's lobby, Typhoon Akua was still raging. When I came to the shore, I heard the sound of thumping from the direction of the shipyard. At that time, I was very surprised. How could there be people in the shipwreck yard at this time? So I came to the shipwreck yard to see what's going on. Afterwards, I saw your pirate ship Mary. When I went to check your boat, I found it was dilapidated. Just as my hand was on the hull of the Mary, suddenly a voice came to my head, Poseidon. The voice said, I still want to sail, I want to sail again. At that time I thought I was hallucinating. But I don't know why, I actually believed that the sound came from the Mary, so, I started to repair the ship. Although I have tried my best to repair it, I am sure that it will definitely not meet the conditions for going to sea. What's more, it is that kind of typhoon day. But. Do you know? The moment I stopped repairing, that voice came to my mind again, he said. Thank you. Then I saw a scene that I will never forget. Your Mary has gone to sea by himself. So, I decided to go to sea on Carrera's ship, and I wanted to see if the Mary could complete the voyage again. Then. I saw a miracle. Although I have been a shipwright for many years, I have never seen such an amazing ship. He. Fortunately survived. On the sea. The wind is very strong the flames are burning on the body of the Mary. It was a sunny day, but there was fine snow in the sky. The fine snow is flying, falling on the burning Mary, turning into rain, sliding down the sheep's head, like the tears of Mary High. In the falling snow, there is a cute voice vaguely. I'm sorry, but I actually want to take you further. I'm sorry, I really want to continue to take risks with you. But I, this time, everyone heard Melly's voice. Luffy burst into tears and yelled in extreme pain. We are the ones to say sorry. He cries and shouts. I don't know how to steer. I caused you to crash into an iceberg. I even broke the sail. Zoro and Sanji are two idiots who are always wreaking havoc on the boat. 
Although Usopp repairs you every time, the technology is too bad. I'm sorry. Mary, it's us who should say sorry. Having said that, Luffy has collapsed to his knees, weeping uncontrollably. But, I. Very happy. Thank you for always being so kind to me. The last sound of the Mary is heard in the flames. Melly. When the picture on the white frame screen dimmed, the viewers woke up from the shock. Watching the farewell between the Melly and the Straw Hat Pirates just now, everyone's emotions were pulled into it. It doesn't matter whether it's a pirate or a marine. As long as it is a person who goes out to sea, who cannot be moved by this scene. If there is a ship in this life that can be dedicated to you like this, I will die without regret. Flying Squirrel. It's so shocking. What is supporting that ship from the Seven Waters to Eni's lobby? And what is supporting that ship to bring the Straw Hat Pirates back from Eni's lobby to the Seven Waters? As one of the participants in the Buster call just now, the Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral couldn't figure out why the ship of the Straw Hat Pirates appeared at that time. And now after watching the video replay, Vice Admiral, the Flying Squirrel, was deeply shocked. If he had known the situation of the Meli at that time, he might not have been able to kill him. Huishaoshan. I didn't expect. That boat came here by myself. Stalo Berry. Unbelievable. It arrived in Eni's lobby's waters with such a wreckage. Gion. Obviously, the Mary was hanging in one breath at that time. Until its owners were safely sent back to the capital of Seven Waters, its breath was also loose. Crane. Yeah. So it was broken as soon as it arrived in the capital of Seven Waters. Gold D. Roger. Since I'm living a new life, then this time, I also want to treat my new boat well, and I also want my boat to awaken the ship spirit. Shaki. Gia ha 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 ha. Then let's compare and see whose ship will awaken the ship spirit first. At this moment, the video with the white border slowly lights up. The screen appears. Mary has arrived at the Long Ring Islands. Ah. This is the first time I feel that having too much money is a troublesome thing. Sanji got off the bed, stepped on the treasure chest, walked from the treasure chest on the first floor to the door, and then continued walking along the treasure chest in the corridor outside. Until we got to the deck, it was a little more spacious. Although there are treasure chests on the deck, relatively speaking, there are a lot less. After all, there is a lot of humidity on the deck, those treasure chests that store Bailey cannot be placed on the deck. Only the treasure chests that store treasure can be placed on the deck. In addition, the rear deck is directly occupied by the golden pillars, and there is still a small half of the golden pillars sticking out of the ship. Luffy is sitting on the sheep's head of the Mary, and is also thinking about this problem. After thinking for a while, he looked back at his partners on the deck and said, It seems. We have to buy another boat just to put the money in. Usopp nodded. Yes, in this case, we have to change the ship or buy another ship. But considering Luffy, it is impossible for you to abandon the Mary, so we can only buy another ship. Buggy said. If you want to buy a boat, then. If I remember correctly, the next island is the famous capital of Seven Waters. There are shipbuilders with very good shipbuilding skills, and we can consider buying our second boat there. Okay. Let's make this decision first. Luffy jumped off the sheep's head and stood on the land of the Long Ring Islands. He looked into the distance, and said with some novelty. This island seems to be different from the island we saw before. Huh. Look at that dog, it's so long. Usopp points to a dog looking for food in the distance, and shouts. Wow. Ha ha. Chopper laughed, Robin stretched out his hand and built a pergola in front of his forehead, looked at it, and said doubtfully. There seems to be no one here. No. There are people. But only one. Luffy's observation hockey has already covered the island and the area of the island is not particularly large. There is only one person on an island? Nami blinked curiously. But it looks like this person is very strange. Let's ask him. Luffy thought for a while, then walked towards the distance. Soon. Everyone found the old man Dongjite who was stepping on a bamboo pole. After some questioning, everyone rescued him. Sanji shouted in shock. What? You have been walking on stilts for almost ten years. Yes. The people of the clan must think that I am dead. Everyone migrates every three years. Now I should have migrated to the fourth island from this island. But it doesn't matter, my horse is here. 
As long as I go to the next island every year when the tide is low, I will be able to join the people of the clan in four years. Dongjite said happily. At this moment, Buggy's head flew down from the sky. I saw it in the air just now. The terrain here is probably a ring, a ring shaped island chain composed of ten small islands, Buggy said. Luffy looked at Dongjite. Let's make a deal. You entertain us with the special products of the island for three days. After three days, we will send you and your horse to reunite with your clan by boat. What do you think? Really? Hearing this, Dongjit's excited eyes turned red. Of course. These four small islands have a few hours of low tide every year, and you can only go to one island a year, which is too long. But if you take a boat, you can take a day or two at most. For us, this is simply a trivial matter. Luffy doesn't need to hurry, and although it takes a day or two to send Dongjit there, a large part of the journey is on the way. Generally speaking, this is just a matter of going along the way, but it can help a lonely old man reunite with his clan four years in advance, why not do it? Dongjite happily collected special things on the island, and entertained the Straw Hats and his party for three days. Three days later, Luffy also took Dongji to the island where his tribe was located. Afterwards, Dot the Mary sailed on the sea for several days and arrived at the capital of Seven Waters. Wow! Is this the capital of Seven Waters? It's so handsome. Looking at this island full of architectural art style, I exclaimed. Nami was also shocked. It's so beautiful. The people who design this kind of city are amazing. Luffy said. We have too much money, and there are a lot of Sky Island shellfish on board, we have to keep people guarding the boat. Knowing that Luffy attaches great importance to the Mary, Buggy took the initiative to say, let me guard the ship. I also stay on the boat, the new batch of seedlings still need to pay attention, I look at it and rest assured, if you fail to win, you will not stay. Okay. Sanji and Zoro go shopping, Usopp and I go to the shipbuilding company to ask about the situation, Nami and Robin go shopping by yourself. Luffy assigned the staff, however, Nami took Robin and ran to Luffy. Let's go to the shipyard with you too. Luffy shrugged. Don't you guys go shopping? Nami said with a smile. You can bring it back for shopping. We will also help you refer to the style of the new ship. All right. Since Nami insisted on this, Luffy did not refuse. Nico Robin. I also went to the shipyard with me over there. At this time, the shipyard of the capital of Seven Waters should still be the undercover people of CP9 there. Nami. Yes. Sister Robin, if you follow, you will definitely be recognized by those CP9. Usopp. It's good to recognize it. Those bastards from CP9 made us so miserable. This time, let's see how the Red Luffy crushed them to death. Tony Tony Chopper. Yes. Squeeze them to death. Vin Smoke Sanji. Pinch them to death. After disembarking, the four of Luffy began to inquire about the location of the shipyard. The structure of the capital of Seven Waters is very unique. After entering the city, there are almost no remote places, all of which are relatively prosperous downtowns. The four people can be said to have walked all the way to eat, and took the famous local duck boat, and finally came to the largest shipyard in the area, number one shipbuilding affiliated to the Carrera Company. Entering the shipyard, Barry, one of the foremen, came over. Excuse me, are you here to repair the ship or? Seeing Usopp carrying two large boxes in his hand, Barry's eyes lit up, Kaido. Usopp replied. We want to buy a big boat, a very, very strong one. Better able to dive. Luffy added. When I came out of Drum Island before, I met Waypal's pirate ship, which was a ship that dived from the sea to work. That was the first time Luffy saw a submarine, and it left a deep impression on Luffy. Now that I need to buy a second boat, Luffy naturally wants to get a boat that can dive. Although you may not be able to dive often, but having this function is better than not having this functional suit. Listening to Luffy's request, Buggy scratched his head. Um. Dot you want a submarine? No, no, no. It's a boat, but it can transform into a boat that can dive. Luffy shook his head and gestured with two hands, that's it. If you wrap it like this again, he can dive underwater. After coming up like this, unfold it again. It's a normal boat. Do you understand? Barry was stupefied, let me say it. Usopp understood that what Luffy wanted to say was actually the ship of the Iron Pirates, 
so he asked for a piece of paper, and quickly drew the ship of the Iron Pirates. Seeing the picture drawn by Usopp, Luffy was overjoyed. Yes, yes. It's like this, but it should not be so ugly, and it must be durable. This kind. Looking at this picture, Barry shook his head. Although this kind can be made, it's not practical. So many deformation links will affect its firmness, are you sure you want to do this? What's going on? Barry. At this moment, another foreman, Lu Chi, came over. Barry turned his head to look at Lu Chi. Oh, these people want to buy a boat, but the plan they put forward is very funny, I'm giving them an idea. Um. The moment Lu Chi noticed Robin, his eyebrows twitched. Then he looked at Luffy and others calmly, it's just. His subtle expression changes can't escape Luffy's perception. Of course, it is impossible for Luffy to beat someone up just because of this. He just stayed pay attention to this Lu Chi. A man who looks very manly, and there is a pigeon on his shoulder, which is a bit strange. Well, if you are not in a hurry, I will hold a meeting with other foremen after get off work to study the shipbuilding plan you proposed, come back tomorrow. When the time comes, we will release the blueprint, you can read it again. Lu Chi gives advice, without talking to Luffy, Nami agreed first. Well, that's fine too. It just so happens that we go shopping first. Speaking, he took Luffy and left, after the four of them leave the shipyard, they can only go shopping. I found a restaurant, and the four of us tasted the famous local delicacy, Shui Shui pork. Um. Luffy frowned slightly. His observation hockey immediately sensed that in the restaurant across the street, the foreman named Lu Chi was peeping here. Beside him, there is another long nose. Obviously, these two people know Luo. Therefore, Luffy frowned and looked at Robin. Robin, that foreman Lu Chi who was at the shipyard just now. Do you know him? Foreman. Robin recalled, and the image of the guy with the pigeon on his shoulder came to mind, and he shook his head. I don't know. That's weird. He obviously knows you. And. He is still following us, Luffy said doubtfully. Puff, at this time, Nami covered his mouth and laughed, come on, Luffy, we all have rewards on our bodies. Isn't it normal for people to recognize food and clothing? He didn't say anything. Luffy suddenly realized something. Yeah. I guess they might be eyeing Robin's bounty. After thinking about it, Luffy doesn't care anymore. Leaving the restaurant, the four of them turned a few streets, came to a small alley, and then put poses at the entrance of the alley. Not long after, Lu Chi and Kaku appeared. When he saw that the four of Luffy were already waiting for them, Lu Chi frowned. He originally wanted to wait for Robin to be singled out when he was alone, but now it seems that the other party is not a song. Of course. In Lu Chi's eyes, no matter what kind of strength the opponent is, he is definitely not as good as him. Are you eyeing our bounty? Luffy leans his back against the wall and looks sideways at Lu Ji and Kaku. It turned out to be an ignorant pirate, no wonder he dared to wait for us so arrogantly. Lu Chi smiled lightly, then looked at Robin, we are CP9. What? When he heard the other party's identity, Robin's delicate body couldn't help but tremble for a moment. Then, she laughed at herself. Okay, I'll go with you. But, don't embarrass them, they are just a few children who were deceived by me. Although Robin knows that Luffy is very powerful, she also knows that P9 represents the world government. No matter how strong the individual is, can he compete with the world government? Obviously. No. Can. Lu Chi looked at Robin without squinting, not paying attention to the three of Luffy at all. Hey. Wait. Robin, you can't go. Luffy suddenly reaches out to stop Robin. He can easily perceive that Robin is very scared now but he still pretends to be calm. Okay. You don't need to act like you know me well. You and I are not partners, we just boarded your boat because of a small agreement. Robin purposely looked at Luffy with a disgusted expression. Luffy didn't let go, but continued to say through Robin's words, since you also made an agreement, then you haven't fully taught the knowledge of archaeological translation. Um. Hearing that Luffy said this, Robin quickly covered Luffy's mouth. She was furious. Don't talk nonsense. Don't bother with my business either, our fate is over. Although she tried her best to hide it, Lu Chi is not a fool. No need to act. Today, none of the three of them can leave. 
While speaking, Lu Qi's right index finger stretched instantly. Originally, Lu Qi didn't care about the three of Luffy, but when he heard Luffy speak about archaeological translation knowledge, the situation was completely different. Why did the government of the world arrest Nico Robin? Isn't it because she can understand the text of history? As long as Nico Robin is alive, more historical papers may be translated and even published. And now the guy next to him actually said that Nico Robin was teaching him about archaeological translation. Isn't this equivalent to killing a Robin and standing up thousands of Robins? Before this situation develops into a prairie fire, it must be nipped in the bud. CP9 are killer agents specially trained by the government of the world, once they decide to act, they will be quite swift and resolute. Like a cheetah, Lu Chi's figure rushes towards Luffy. However, slippery ground. Nami's right hand makes a finger holding movement, and the fruit ability is instantly transmitted to the ground. Lu Chi just rushed in front of Luffy, and he was exerting force under his feet, but the ground instantly turned into a smooth plane with zero friction. In such a sudden situation, no matter how good Lu Chi's balance is, he will inevitably fall straight down. Boom. He knelt on the ground, and the fat gun with his right hand poked directly on the ground. This process sounds like a well-structured process, but it actually happens only in an instant. In the eyes of others, it was as if Lu Chi sprinted over at an accelerated speed, and knelt down in front of Luffy with a plop. When this scene appeared, there was an instant silence in the chat room. Then there was a roar of laughter, Charlotte Linlin. Wahahaha. Why did this guy rush over to kneel down for him as soon as he saw the straw hat boy? Scarachi Manap. Maybe I owe someone money, blah 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 blah. Don Quixote da Flamingo. F you furfer. So excited, I don't know, I thought I saw my own father. Gecko Moria. Hey he 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 he. You were really bad. He rushed over and knelt down to the toll fee. Even Lu Chi himself was stupefied. He knelt in front of Luffy and was suddenly embarrassed. Kaku behind him originally thought that Lu Chi would be able to get everything done in an instant, but he didn't expect it to be this one. He suddenly looked stupid, looking at Lu Chi in front of me, the corner of Luffy's mouth couldn't help twitching. Of course he knew what happened, but this scene is really funny. Luffy has not received professional training in how to hold back a smile, how can he hold back a smile? PFF. It's not the first time we met, so you don't need to see outside like this. Luffy let out a mouthful of laughter, and immediately stretched out his hand to help Liu send it up. Gold D. Roger. Red Luffy, you are so black bellied, haha. <laughs> Shanks. Ahahaha, <laughs> don't hit or swear, just such a polite sentence, it's not very lethal but it's extremely insulting. Paluzolino. Woo. As soon as I said this, that guy CP9's face turned black. Although both the CP organization and the Marine are under the command of the world government, the two departments actually do not understand each other. Even. The CP organization is like the eunuch next to the emperor. Marine is seriously upset when he sees the CP agency. Sakazuki. CP9 nonsense is really not as good as one generation. Jaji. That's right, looking at Luffy teasing him with such a relaxed attitude, Luffy is really about to explode. Lousy is the strongest CP9 in history. At the age of 13, he was already a famous terrorist killer under the command of the government of the world. I can easily crush a thousand or eight hundred little brats like you. How dare you tease me? And still in such a humiliating way to ultimate. Shave. Backquote, for a split second, Lu Chi is about to explode and attack. However, the ground he was on was completely affected by the slippery fruit, and as soon as he exerted his strength, he fell into the mud. Don't move around, I'll help you. Kaku has been watching from behind, he has already seen that it is Nami who is using devil fruit ability. He didn't get close, but directly raised his leg and kicked it out with a tempest kick. The sharp slashing wave instantly approached Nami. Facing this level of attack, Luffy has no intention of making a move at all. With his current strength, Observation Hockey can instantly judge the power of the opponent's attack. If you encounter a low-level attack from your partners, Luffy will naturally fall back. Obviously. The Tempest Kick issued by Kaku in front of me is obviously far from that level. Of course, 
this level of attack also has its benefits. That is to practice for the partners, as Luffy thought. Usopp was overjoyed when he saw such an enemy. Hey, it's time for me to show off. Usopp stepped out, and a black ring appeared on the Democratic Party. Although his physical talent is limited, he is the second on board, and his training time is second only to Zoro. Coupled with Luffy's personal guidance, his armament hockey has already passed the elementary level, and is gradually approaching the intermediate level. Of course, Usopp's talent points are not only reflected in sniper skills, but observation hockey is also his strong point. His observation hockey is now infinitely close to the high-level observation hockey, and he may pass that step at any time and become the owner of the high-level observation hockey. Facing Kaku's tempest kick slashing wave at this time, Usopp easily locked its flight trajectory and killing range. He stood in front of everyone in an instant, and slapped the tempest kick chopping wave with his palm. Idiot. Luki and Kaku sneered at the same time when they saw Usopp blocking the tempest kick wave with his hand. I'm really looking for a dead end. Vin smoke Sanji. What's the situation? Does Usopp over there still have physical skills? Frankie. Why is it a palm discharge? What kind of attack is this? Usopp. Haha. I guess it must be Shockby. They all say that they know themselves best. Seeing Usopp over there slapping his palm on the Tempest Kick shockwave, Usopp immediately guessed the truth. After the Tempest Kick shockwave hit Usopp's palm, it disappeared without a trace. Um? Kaku frowned and froze immediately. What's the situation? He actually picked up the Tempest Kick with his bare hands. Wrong. It's Devil Fruit ability. Kaku immediately guessed like this. But at this time, Usopp has already taken the initiative to attack him. However, when Usopp rushed to Kaku, Kaku suddenly looked shocked. Because he noticed the slingshot behind Usopp, he suddenly exclaimed subconsciously, Wait, are you a sniper? Oh, what's the problem? Usopp paused, a little confused by Kaku's question. Seeing that Usopp admitted, Kaku's emotions are completely in Bungbu. He suddenly became furious. Damn it! You, a sniper, don't keep the distance, but want to fight me in close quarters. A sniper wants to attack you head on, what a shame. Kaku finally realized what Lu Chi felt just now. But what he didn't expect was that the next moment, his sense of humiliation and anger suddenly became an upgraded version. Usopp shrugged his shoulders, as if he was chatting and said, Although your strength is not bad, it is not enough for me to take out the slingshot. As soon as these words came out, a group of flames called anger burst out of Kaku's heart like a small universe explosion. Ah! Too much deception. Although his strength is not as good as Lu Chi, he is still considered the second strongest among CP9. Under such a background, there is actually a sniper who said that he is not good enough to take out a sniper weapon. Insult to the extreme. Vin smoke Sanji. Ah! This is so damn handsome. Chopper. Wow! Usopp is so handsome, Kid Eustace. It's a humiliating explosion to say something like this in a chatty tone. Trafalgar Law. Haha. <laughs> Usopp over there is in charge, so cool. Rox D. Zebek. These little guys nowadays are not very strong, but they talk more and more than one. Seeing the appearance of Usopp in the picture, Rox couldn't help feeling a little sour. In a state of extreme anger, Karen is instantly resigned finger pistol. The index finger of his right hand stretched straight for a moment, and he stabbed heavily toward Usopp's chest. This kind of shooting speed is the capital that Kaku is proud of. In his opinion, at such a close distance, young people like Usopp must be unavoidable. Of course what he doesn't know is, his attack trajectory is locked by Usopp's observation hockey, which is as ridiculous as a child fooling around. Usopp raises his hand, the same hand just now. The shock shell in the palm was placed on Kaku's finger in an instant. The tempest kick that was absorbed by the impact back just now was released with a completely new look. Boom. The power of the finger pistol and the power of the tempest kick instantly caused a strong explosion. Kaku subconsciously took two steps back. What? That power? Is the tempest kick I sent just now? After realizing this, Kaku became even more angry and furious. The opponent uses the power he just used to deal with the power he is playing now. 
Doesn't this mean that two people are fighting and only he is contributing? Kaku couldn't help but said angrily, Damn it! What kind of skill is it to fight me with my attack? Don't be angry, I'm just doing a simple test. I won't use your power to attack. Usopp raised his right hand palm, buckled the shock shell in his palm in front of Kaku, and put it in the side pocket of the small satchel. Call. Seeing that Usopp put away the shock shell, Kaku breathed a sigh of relief. Otherwise, this battle would be too aggrieved for him. After Usopp put away the shock shell, he opened the right side pocket of the small shoulder bag and took it out with his hands. What you do? Seeing Usopp taking things, Kaku suddenly became nervous again. Brush. Usopp pulled out a new shock shell. He glanced at the mark made on it, and suddenly said to himself in astonishment, Err. This is Luffy's attack, forget it, don't use this, or he will be killed. While muttering, he put the shock shell back, and then fumbled and fumbled in the bag. Nani. Although Usopp is talking to himself, but Kaku is so close, of course he heard it. It's too much. Worried about killing me? Asshole. I will kill you first. Just when Kaku was about to make a move. Usopp molded another shock shell, he looked at the mark on it, and his face was not very satisfied. It belongs to Zoro. No, 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 Zoro's attack probably won't be able to resist. Speaking, Usopp stuffed the shock shell back. Ah. Kaku, I feel like my cavity is exploding suddenly, almost blowing my lungs out. And Usopp replaced the third shock shell here. This is Sanji's attack. Well, it's about the same, probably won't kill him all at once. Usopp had a momentary expression of serious thinking on his face, then nodded himself, and put the shock shell in the palm of his hand. Paluzolino. Woo. This kid's behavior is really hateful, I feel angry when I see it. Jilu. Ha ha ha. It's really full. I owe you so much. Edward Newgate. G U la 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 la. Really deserves a beating, aha. Vin Smoke Sanji. Ah. Roranoa Zoro. Stupid curly brows. Doesn't that just show that Usopp over there has an extremely correct perception? Vin Smoke Sanji. Bastard. I'm going to duel with you. It's enough. Kaku can't bear it anymore. He felt that he was only a little bit away from being pissed off, and in anger, he rushed to Usopp and shouted, Finger pistol submachine gun. A figure approaching at a high speed, Kaku poked finger pistol out with both hands at the same time. Usopp's observation hockey easily locks the main Kaku's attack direction. Of course. Because of the relative lack of physical skills, Usopp can't easily get out of the way. If you are a little embarrassed, you can still get out of the way. But Usopp didn't do that. When Kaku launched the first wave of attacks, he drew his right palm on Kaku's chin from bottom to top at a tricky angle. The power of Sanji contains armament hockey's strenuous kick, stored by Barry burst out. Kaku's head seems to be lifted up suddenly by an invisible big hand. Pooh, blood squirts madly. His body also flew up together. Boom. Fall to the ground, unconscious. 2. Monkey D. Luffy. Did you hit it right away? That Usopp over there is awesome. Vin smoke Sanji. Hey, hey, hey. I used the shock shell that absorbed my attack. It's me, okay. Roranoa Zoro. No matter how powerful it is, it still ranks behind me and Luffy. Vin smoke Sanji. Impossible. Nami. It should be behind me over there. Vin smoke Sanji. Ah. Nami chan is right. After Kaku is done. Usopp grabs Kaku's nose and walks back. And here, Lu Chi tried to get up two or three times in a row, but fell badly. Luffy raised her eyebrows. You are so, so tired, can't you take a rest? Lu Chi seems to be very stubborn, he got up again, and was slid down again. But at the moment when he slipped and fell into the air, he let out a low voice, paper arts. Suddenly, his figure was like a piece of paper, and he floated up. Oh, Luffy's eyes lit up when he saw Luffy's strange new moves again. And at this time, Lu Jian, who was in the air, suddenly stepped on the air with both feet. Moonwalk. Swipe it once, and Lu Chi will fly into the air. The muscles on the body swelled up as if they were suddenly pumped up. The color of the skin has also changed, in an instant, he became half human, half leopard. Huh? 
it's still a zone demon fruit power. Luffy was slightly surprised. At this time, Lu Chi suddenly turned his head and fixed his eyes on Luffy. Thinking of Luffy's serious humiliation, just now, Lu Chi can't wait to let Luffy's head fall immediately. I? Realizing that Luffy is going to attack him, Luffy grinned slightly. I advise you not to think about it. Hearing this, Lu Chi became even more angry. Asshole. What qualifications do you have to underestimate me, Lu Chi? Go to hell. The next moment, Road Strike in the form of a prawn appeared in front of Luffy. Six Kings Spear. Without any hesitation, Lu Chi is almost his strongest move as soon as he makes a move. He clenched his fists fiercely, like two hammers, and smashed towards Luffy's chest viciously. Luffy is a little speechless. Everyone tells you not to be overwhelmed, but you just have to be so stubborn. Can't you be obedient and let Nami and Usopp practice their hands obediently? Facing Lu Chi's attack, Luffy moved his feet lightly and turned sideways to avoid the power of these fists. Nani. The moment his fists hit nothing, Lu Chi was shocked. At this moment, time seems to slow down. Lu Chi's body still maintains the shape of a Superman flying and punching. The moment the Six King's gun was emptied, Lu Chi suddenly noticed that Luffy disappeared from where he was and appeared on his right side instead. He subconsciously turned his head to the right and looked over. But I saw Luffy smiling slightly and then casually stepped down to block Luffy from following. Lu Chi's body immediately rolled in a clockwise direction. Then Luffy stood on one leg, raised one leg without haste, and the sole of the foot rushed straight to the sky. Rubber Rubber Tomahawk. All these moves are almost completed in an instant. Luffy's feet fell from the sky. Lu Chi was inlaid on the ground and fainted immediately. Nami happily said, Miss Robin, you don't have to go with them. However, Robin's complexion is not pretty, she said with a worried face. Why did you attack CP9? Do you know that once you take action against them, it is equivalent to fighting against the world's government? Even if you defeat them, the world's government still has a CPO, and even stronger thugs. Luffy. You really shouldn't fight against the government of the world for people like me. As early as I was eight years old, I should have died, because of an accident, I survived. For these years, I have been bearing the will of Ohara, wanting to translate all the historical texts of the world. But I also often feel tired. If I die, it will actually be a relief for me. But now you are implicated, you make me full of self blame. Robin knelt down on the ground, holding the ground with one hand, covering his mouth with the other, tears kept flowing. Although he has betrayed many organizations before, in her view, those organizations deserve what they deserve. However, this time, she felt extremely painful for the Straw Hat Pirates to offend the government of the world because of her affairs. Bearing the title of Son of the Devil, Luo Bao is actually a kind person. This feeling of guilt makes her miserable, what are you talking about? Seeing Robin crying bitterly, Luffy picked his nostrils. Isn't that just beating two lackeys of the world government? Is this considered a matter? Nami squatted down, stroking Robin's slightly trembling back, and said softly, Yes. We played a lot of marines before. Now it's just two CP9s, it doesn't affect us at all. Robin. Don't think too much about it. Luffy never acts emotionally. Since he's done it himself, it's definitely not your turn to blame yourself. Usopp dragged Kaku over and threw Kaku beside Lu Chi. As the first person on board after Zoro, Usopp still knows Luffy's character very well. However, Robin cried even more sadly, she said guiltily, but. I am obviously not your partner. In her life, she has never had a partner, I don't want to owe anyone a favor. It turned out that the Straw Hat Pirates and her were only in an agreed relationship, but they still saved her from CP9 without hesitation, which made her very painful. It's like letting those organizations take the blame when they betrayed those organizations in the past. However, the harmonious atmosphere of the Waimau Pirates has been deeply implanted in Ronan's heart since we got along during this period of time. She really doesn't want any accidents in such a group. Aren't you a partner? Hearing this, Luffy nodded slightly, and then he stretched out his hand to Robin. So. Now, as the captain of the Straw Hat Pirate Ship, I invite you to join us. Of course Luffy can't be a flower protector because of Robin's crying words. 
The reason for inviting Robin to be a partner is because Luffy has confirmed Robin's character now. According to Robin's own dictation of the O'Hara incident before, and some information Luffy learned along the way, he is almost certain that it is not the so-called evil incident in the mouth of the world government. And just now when he deliberately said that Robin taught him about archaeological translation, CP9, who didn't care about them, immediately decided to kill the three of Luffy. Luffy confirmed it. Obviously, what CP9 wants to catch is not the person, Robin, but Robin's archaeological translation knowledge. Is it a crime to master a knowledge? F. Luffy doesn't think it's guilty. What's more, along the way, whether it's the history text of Alabasta or the history text of Sky Island, ancient weapon is mentioned here, and Robin has no intention of getting involved with ancient weapon at all, nor does he have any idea of revealing information about ancient weapon. So the crime of endangering the world, set by the government of the world is not valid at all. Invite me. When Luffy said this, Robin couldn't believe his ears. Just when she was still in the dazed stage, Nami directly took Robin's hand and stuffed it into Luffy's hand. Nami giggled. We will be partners from now on. Partner, what do you think? Luffy held Robin's hand tightly and stared at her with a smile. The sound of partner hit Robin's heart deeply. Recalling so many years of wandering, she suddenly felt at home at this moment. She nodded her head heavily and choked up. Um. Received Robin's response. Luffy pulled him up with a little force. Luffy. What about these two people? At this time, Usopp points to Luchi and Kaku, Kaido. Luffy rubbed his chin. Take it back to the boat first, I'm very interested in the attack method they used just now. Afterwards, Usopp and Luffy each carried one on their backs, pretending to be carrying their own people, and came to the side of the river. Rent a small boat and go to the pier where the Meli is located. Nico Robin. Phew. The me over there has finally become everyone's partner, so I can always rest assured. Nami. It's been said a long time ago. Those of us over there will definitely get on board alone. Frankie. It's my turn next time. Em, super. Vin smoke Sanji. You damn pervert. The Luffy over there may not necessarily accept you. Brooke. Yo ho 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 ho, that makes sense. Tony Tony Chopper. Don't, Frankie can't lose it. Nico Robin. Ah ha ha, Chopper, don't worry. Even someone like me has successfully joined, and Frankie will definitely join. Crane. If I'm not mistaken, is the Red Luffy over there planning to learn Marine Six styles? Kuzan. It looks like this. Sakazuki. Pirates also want to learn Marine Six styles? Don't. Dreaming. Flying Squirrel. Anyway, Lu Chi and his group are not soft boned and they definitely won't teach them. Gold D. Roger. You idiots are especially worried about this. Why don't you look forward to how far the Red Luffy over there will develop Marine? Kazuki Odin. That makes sense. It would be so much fun if Red Luffy's Marine 6 styles are even stronger than the original ones. Monkey D. Garp. This one can have. Haha. <laughs> 7 Water Capital, City Hall Office Building, 2nd Floor. Oh no. Boatman Barry rushed into the office of Mayor Bingshan in a hurry. The mayor of Bingshan is also the highest consul of the capital of Seven Waters. At the same time, he is also the mayor of the city of Seven Waters and the head of the Carrera Shipbuilding Company. The full name is Ace Bagu. Boom. The door of the mayor's office was pushed open by the foreman Barry, and he rushed in. And in the office, the secretary of the mayor, Khalifa, wearing black fishnet stockings, is reporting to Ace Bagu about the company's profitability caused by this issue of Carrera. Suddenly someone pushed the door and entered, and she jumped. How rude. Khalifa directly raised a fishnet leg, and raised a series of phantoms at Barry. Barry couldn't dodge in time, and was immediately kicked in the face. Ah. Damn. You shameless woman. What you are wearing is outrageous. Buggy covered the swelling on his face and cursed angrily. At this time, Ace Bagu looked at Barry suspiciously. Barry, at this point in time, you are not staying in the shipyard. What are you doing here? Hearing what Ace Bagu said, Bali realized that he came here for something important. He hurriedly yelled, Not good. President. Lu Chi and Kaku were taken away. What? Ace Bagu and Khalifa turned pale with shock almost at the same time. 
CP9 who came here as an undercover agent, of course Khalifa understands how strong Lu Qi and Kaku are. Now. Barry actually said that someone took Lu Qi and Kaku away. What are you kidding? Only CP9 has ever caught people, when will it be someone else's turn to catch CP9? And Ace Bagu thought someone kidnapped his company's employees, so he stood up immediately. What's going on? Tell me carefully. Asterisk carat percent GS it, Barry quickly said. This morning, four people came to our shipyard and said they wanted to buy a big boat that can dive. Afterwards, Lu Qi said that he would hold a meeting to formulate a plan. Let them go back first. However, when it was time for the meeting in the afternoon, Lu Qi and Kaku were not there. Lao Wang said that they went out for lunch, so I went out to find them. As a result, when I was looking for them, I saw the four people who wanted to buy a boat come out of an alley. Follow Lu Qi and Kaku. I saw that they rented a boat, so I immediately rented a blue to follow them. Who knew? Their ship is like a rocket, it disappears after swiping. Barry told what he saw in one breath, Khalifa frowned. She doesn't doubt what Barry said, because she knows that these foremen of the Carrera company are very loyal, otherwise Barry would not want to follow those people alone. However, what she was puzzled about was, what's the situation with Lu Qi and Kaku? Why is it being carried? Could it be that someone used some kind of conspiracy to suddenly lose his fighting power or become unconscious? Thinking of this, she immediately began to think about how to rescue Lu Qi and Kaku. Ace Bagu frowned when he heard the news. After a while, he suddenly asked. You said just now that Lu Qi said that he would give them the blueprints, so did you say when they would give them the blueprints? Buggy nodded. Say it, let them come to the shipyard tomorrow morning. Ace Bagu slapped the table. Then wait for them at the shipyard tomorrow morning, let the brothers get the guys ready. Good. Barry said in a deep voice, Evening. Aboard the Mary. The Straw Hat Pirate's special seawater wooden barrel shackle cage, Lu Qi is soaked in it. Because Kaku is weaker, he was treated better, so he was tied casually and thrown aside. When the two of them just woke up, there was actually a mouthful of output. It stopped after a few slaps, Marine Six Styles? Listening to Kaku saying the name of the move, Luffy rolled the string again and again, while looking at him. Tell me, how can I tell you the way of training Marine Six Styles? Don't even think about it. Your strength is indeed surprising, but it is absolutely wishful thinking to get any information from us, Kaku snorted coldly. Lu Qi was even more straightforward. He turned his head to the side without making a sound. Don't you say. Luffy put the iron stick on the dinner plate next to him and took another roasted kidney. Seeing this, Buggy proposed, How about punishment? It's useless. Robin immediately denied it, and she explained, They themselves are agents trained by the government of the world, and the training courses include special training to face punishment. If you want to get information from them, it is a very difficult thing in itself. If you have to learn about marine vis cultivation method from them, you can only use unconventional means. What kind of unconventional means? Nami asked curiously. Robin shook his head. I haven't thought of it. Everyone almost fainted. Luffy thought for a while, and said to Usopp. Give them a chili star first, to warm up their mouths. Okay. Hearing this, Usopp was immediately happy. He pulls the slingshot, Rifa chili star is ready. Then, he looked at Robin. Robin, do me a favor. Of course Robin understood what Usopp meant. He crossed his arms and activated the ability of flower flower fruit. I saw Lu Qi and Kaku's mouths were picked, whizzing. Two chili stars shot into the mouths of Lu Qi and Kaku with great precision. Hiss. The chili star was directly poured into the throat, and the expressions of the two of them suddenly changed, and their faces were flushed. Bursts of heat waves began to emerge from their seven orifices. Looking at the two CP9s sticking out their tongues like crazy, Robin smiled. Although this is quite ruthless, it is definitely not far enough to make them speak. Luffy nodded. Well, I didn't expect them to open their mouths right away. Anyway, we are not in a hurry. When you have free time every day, you can think of some ways to see who can pry their mouths open first. Although Luffy is very interested in Marine Six styles, he is not in a hurry. Take your time. You will always get it at this time, Sanji walked up to Luffy and said, Don't you think this is strange? 
they are agents of the world's government, and they want to catch Robin Sauce, it's no problem. But why are they building ships? Factory undercover. Did they already know that Robin Sauce would appear here? Robin said seriously. No, they definitely didn't go undercover in the shipyard because of me. They must have other missions, it's just a coincidence that they met me. Looking at them looking like dead pigs who are not afraid of boiling water, I'm afraid it's not easy to ask them out. Nami glanced at the two spicy CP9 agents sticking out their tongues, and said. Luffy smiled. This matter has nothing to do with us, why should we meddle in that business? Nami's eyes glowed with enlightenment. That's right, Luffy is right. The next day, Luffy and his team first found the largest pawn shop in the capital of Seven Waters, and pawned off the golden pillar. Because this gold pillar is too big, the unit price given by the other party is lower than the gold price, but even so, this gold pillar was sold at a high price of 2.3 billion baileys. Including their own assets, the family background of the Straw Hat Pirates has reached as much as 5.2 billion. Nami. 23. Billions. PFF. Usopp. OMG. What the hell are we missing? Vin Smoke Sanji. Is it too late to go back and get that golden pillar now? Bellamy. It's too late. Monkey D. Luffy. Bellamy. It's you bastard. Bellamy. It's Luffy. I'm so sorry for laughing at your dreams. Now that I've been to Sky Island too, I swear I'll never laugh at anyone's dreams again. When I was in Magic Valley Town, when Luffy and the others asked about Sky Island in the bar, they were ridiculed by all the pirates. This naturally also includes the Bellamy pirates. It wasn't until Bellamy heard the singing from the sky that he realized that Luffy had really accomplished what he thought was a fantasy. Then after arriving at Sky Island, Bellamy's three views were officially refreshed. Monkey D. Luffy. What? Bellamy, you also went to Sky Island. Bellamy. Yeah, I also took the Golden Pillar. What? Hearing that Bellamy took away the Golden Pillar, everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates vomited blood collectively. It's so hand in hand, send the Bailey obtained from selling the gold pillars back to the Meli, the cabin of the Meli is really full. Afterwards, the personnel were still assigned as yesterday, Luffy, Usopp, Nami and Robin took 200 million Baileys to Carrera's shipyard, and the others stayed on board. When a group of four came to the shipyard, Ace Bagu and Barry immediately surrounded them with people. Huh. What does this mean? Seeing the dark shipbuilders around, Luffy frowned. Although they captured Lu Chi and Kaku yesterday, they moved the captives very quickly at that time, and they should not have been discovered. However, looking at the previous appearance, it seems that the other party already knows about this matter. Of course, Luffy is not ready to do anything. After all, those two people are agents of CP9. As long as their real identities are revealed, this conflict will not start. Barry stood up and looked at them and yelled, You bastards are pretending to buy a boat but you were actually here to kidnap our foreman, hand over Lu Chi and Kaku. Yes, hand over brother Lu Chi and brother Kaku. Help me. Otherwise, don't even think about getting out of here alive. The shipbuilders clamored one after another. Let everyone shout for a while, Ace swears at this official. The shipbuilders suddenly fell silent. I'm the president here, Ace Bagu. I don't know what grievances Lu Chi and Kaku have with you. If you can promise to release them both, then I can decide not to pursue this matter. As the president of Carrera Company, Ace Jonggu only wants to see his own safety at this time. Luffy spread his hands. Then what if you don't agree? Actually, I will definitely not agree. Luffy wants to ask them about the training method of Marine Six Styles. If you don't agree, hearing this, Ace Bagu's face immediately turned cold, and he raised his hand. I saw hundreds of craftsmen in the entire shipyard suddenly raised their wrenches. Ace Bagu threatened in a cold voice. If you want to experience the feeling of hundreds of wrenches being thrown on you, just say, no, and see. Seeing that the opponent is ready to fight, Usopp, Nami and Robin are also ready to go to war immediately. At this time, Luffy laughed. Wait a moment. Before answering your question, I have a question to ask you. What's the problem? Ace Bagu said impatiently. Luffy asks. Is this shipyard of yours running some kind of illegal and criminal business for a long time? What nonsense are you talking about? Damn it! 
you tied up our foreman and poured dirty water on us. Damn. We are Carrera's shipyard, we are a clean business. Luffy's words immediately aroused the indignation of the shipbuilders. Oh. Luffy rubbed his chin. That's strange. Since CP9's undercover agents are in your shipyard, they must have at least some evidence of your crimes. Otherwise, why would you send two agents, Luchi and Kaku, here to undercover how many years? On the way here, Luffy inquired, Luchi and Kaku have been working in the shipyard for more than four years. The two of them have become well-known figures in the capital of Seven Waters because of their excellent shipbuilding and ship repairing skills. Bastard. It's okay to pour dirty water on us, but you want to dirty Luki and Kaku. Do you think that we will believe you if you casually label the two of them as undercover agents? Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and hand over the person. Otherwise, I will f asterisk you. President, stop talking nonsense with him, Tien and the others. Luffy's words once again ignited the anger of Carrera's shipbuilders. However, although these shipwrights believed what Luffy said, Asiba was very upset. He is the first disciple of Tom, the world's number one shipbuilder. When Tom was dying, he passed the design of Pluton to him. When I heard the word CP9, Ace Medieval, I believed it without hesitation. Because he knows that the government of the world has been sending people to secretly investigate the whereabouts of Pluton's design drawings all these years, but he has already quietly transferred this drawing to his junior brother Frankie. But now when he heard Luffy say that Lu Chi and Kaku are undercover agents sent by CP9, his heart suddenly raised his throat. Intuition tells him that what Luffy said is true. Calm down. At this moment, Ace Bagu roared loudly. He looked at Luffy and said in a deep voice, Do you have any definite evidence? They revealed their identities first, how could it be false? Luffy glanced at Ace Bagu, and then said a little unhappy, Looking at you now, we can't buy our boats, right? If you really don't plan to make this life. If you agree, then let's find another place. Speaking, Luffy is about to leave. Wait a minute. The matter of shipbuilding is easy to talk about. But can you hand over these two people to me? since they are people from the government of the world. I think they will stay with you. It will also bring you trouble, won't it? Ace Bagu wants to bring the two of them over and interrogate them. Don't get me wrong. The reason I'm telling you this is purely because I'm in a good mood. I'm not here to prove this to you. Not wanting to deal with this matter, Luffy then waved his hand, let's go. The shipbuilders of the Carrera Company saw that Luffy and the others were about to leave, and they all made gestures to rush forward and all of them looked at Ace Bagu. As long as Ace Bagu gives an order, they will immediately go to beat up Luffy and others. Ace Bagu's heart is extremely complicated at this time, and he is also afraid. Looking at the back of Luffy walking towards the gate of the shipyard, he hesitated. But just as Luffy and the others were about to leave the shipyard, two figures suddenly appeared at the gate of the shipyard, blocking the way of Luffy and others. Sorry. You can't leave. Khalifa pushed the metal glasses with purple borders, and said lightly. It's Secretary Khalifa. This leg is so beautiful. Damn it. I'm touched by my surname. Huh. Who is that guy next to him? Standing next to Goddess Khalifa, looking for death? He's the bar owner, Bluno. Hey, 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 it's really him. How did the two of them get together? Seeing Khalifa and Bluno appearing at the door, the shipbuilders started talking again. Khalifa. Seeing this scene, Ace Bagu exclaimed, and he immediately walked over, What are you doing here? Don't mess around, go back to the city hall. Ace Bagu came up and grabbed Khalifa's arm to drag him out. However, puff, Bluno on the side stretched out his hand and hit a finger pistol. Ace trembled violently. He looked at the finger that penetrated his body in shock, his eyes widened in disbelief. Luffy's eyes lit up and he said happily, Huh? This is Finger Pistol. You two are also CP9? For these strictly trained agents, it is very difficult to get information from them. So the more prisoners you can capture, the greater the chance of getting information. That's right. We are also CP9. Although I don't know what means you used to capture Lu Chi and Kaku, but we came prepared today, and we won't let you take advantage of it. Speaking, Khalifa immediately rushed to Luffy Boom. Take a step. Khalifa slipped, and immediately fell down. Nami slid to her face with a swipe, 
raised her hand to remember that armament hockey's handknife fell on Khalifa's fair neck. Hum. It was too late to say anything, Khalifa fainted immediately. Ha. Seeing that Khalifa was suddenly killed, Bluno immediately realized that this group of people in front of him has real skills. Looks like Lu Chi and Kaku were arrested yesterday is not accidental. He didn't think much about it, and immediately wanted to take Khalifa away. Open the door on the ground. A door opened under Bluno's feet, and he fell straight in and passed by. Huh. Luffy noticed right away. As soon as he stretched out his hand, his arms stretched, his palms enlarged, and he hugged Bluno's entire head, and then pulled up Bluno, who had already fallen halfway to the ground. Capone Beige. Hey. That person has already fallen by more than half, and was picked up by the Red Luffy again. Skurichimanip. Ah blah blah. It's so miserable. Trafalgar Law. The straw hat over there is not only powerful in observation hockey, but also has quick eyesight and quick hands. The other party doesn't even have a chance to escape. Usopp. Nice job. In the first battle of the water capital, Usopp was killed by Bluno's finger pistol. Vin smoke Sanji. Great. The CP9 over there is really easy to handle, it's so cool. Nami. Yeah, yes, it's so comfortable, huh? What devil fruit are you? Luffy pulled Bluno over, then threw it on the ground, and asked curiously. Finger pistol. How could Bluno answer Luffy's words? He saw Luffy's feet right in front of him, and unceremoniously, he just stabbed Luffy's feet with a finger pistol. Dwang. Nami's fist landed on his head immediately. A burst of darkness, Bluno turned belly up and passed out. President. Mayor. Mr. Iceberg. The shipbuilders of the Carrera Company rushed over one after another. Ace Bagu sat on the ground, covering his wound. I'm fine, I can't die. Luffy mentioned Khalifa in one hand and Bluno in the other, and signaled his partners to leave here. Wait a moment. Seeing that Luffy's people are leaving. Ace Bagu hurriedly said, aren't you going to build a ship? Luffy frowned. Why? In the current situation, there should be no chance for us to cooperate with, right? Ace Bagu hurriedly shouted, no, there is a chance, and I will personally build a ship for you. You, personally. Luffy frowned even deeper, your boss is the mayor's, and it will cause. Hey, you guys who have no vision. Mayor Bingshan is the best shipwright in the city of Seven Waters. Yes, he is the first disciple of the world's number one shipbuilder Tom. How many people spend a lot of money to ask him to take action, but they can't ask him at all? The shipwrights around shouted one after another. Hearing this, Luffy suddenly became interested. So, he looked at Ace Bagu. Tell me, what is your condition? I have something to say first, if you want someone, there is no way. Luffy is a smart person, he knows that it is impossible for others to ignore being courteous. And the only thing that attracts the other party in my hand is undoubtedly a few CP9s. Ace Bagu quickly shook his head. No, we don't want them, but we want to interrogate them, is that okay? Luffy shrugged his shoulders, and said lightly, Yes, yes, but they are agents trained by the government of the world for many years. If you want to interrogate them, I think it is almost impossible to ask anything. It doesn't matter. As long as you agree, I will try my best to build you the best ship in the world," Ace Bagu said seriously. The best ship in the world. Hearing this, Luffy frowned a little, I said. You are a little too big for bragging. Ah? I never thought that Luffy would say such a sentence, Ace was stunned by his tongue out. Then, he hurriedly said, No, does Roger. The One Piece King, no. His ship was built by my master. And I have inherited all the shipbuilding techniques of my master. Even if it is not as good as the ship built by my master, I can guarantee that definitely the best boat in the world today. Hearing that Roger's boat was built by the guy in front of me, Luffy kind of believed what Ace Bagu just boasted. Okay. Come with us. It happens that we have a ship doctor who can treat your injury. Speaking. Luffy walked outside with two CP9s. Usopp handed the treasure chest in his hands to Robin and Nami, and then went to support Ace Bagu. Slow down. Let's go too. Who knows if you guys will kidnap Mayor Bingshan. Boom. Luffy's Conqueror's Hockey was released immediately.
These shipbuilders all fainted to the ground at once. Ace Bagu's expression changed. Ah, they. Luffy said lightly, don't worry, just let them take a nap for a while, otherwise it will be too much trouble. The group left Carrera's shipyard and came to the Mary. Ace Bagu's injury is not too serious. After all, CP9 has not grasped the real clue of Pluton's design, so it is impossible to kill Ace Bagu. Chopper helped him with Shisui, smeared the potion, and then bandaged it up. It will be taken care of soon. Because Bluno is a demon fruit power, so I got him a large seawater barrel shackle cage. As for Khalifa, Luffy carried her and threw her in the sea several times, and found that she was not a demon fruit power, and then she was treated the same as Kaku, just tied and threw it away. Open hollow lens bracket. After Ace Bagu's wound was bandaged, he tried to interrogate a few CP9s, and after getting the information that they were indeed CP9s, he couldn't ask anything else. He even showed reason and emotion to Khalifa, and then Khalifa taught him a lesson, let him understand what is called an agent. Looking at Ace Bagu coming out dejectedly, Luffy patted him on the shoulder with a smile. Don't feel discouraged. For these guys, if you are not mentally prepared for a long fight, don't even think about it from them. Get a word of information. It's like Luffy is going to dig out the Marine Six Styles training method from these guys. Luffy has already figured it out. When the new big ship is built, there must be a special place for prisoners on the ship. Take these guys around the world together, when will they recruit the Marine Six Styles training method, when will you consider whether to kill or let them go? At this time, Ace Bagu found many big treasure chests on the beauty, some of which were still open, revealing the treasures full of them. You guys. Seem to be very rich, Ace Bagu said with emotion. Luffy nodded, chatting casually. Yeah. It's because we have too much money, so we want to buy a big boat to put money. Ace Bagu has a black line on his forehead. Nima. Although it sounds like showing off, it seems that the other party is just stating a fact. He looked at Luffy. Since you have enough money, I suggest that you can buy a Yang Shu Eve's tree trunk as the material for building your ship. The ship of the Roger Pirates was also made of that kind of wood, it is very strong. Okay. Although the best material, it's not bad money. Luffy casually patted the treasure chest beside him, probably because it was too full, there was a slight vibration, and a lot of gold and silver treasures fell out immediately h. Then, Luffy suddenly thought of something, and asked, by the way, if I want to transform the Mary into a big ship, can I do it? No. Ace Bagu denied without hesitation, the keel of every ship is fixed when it is built. No matter how it is modified, the keel cannot be adjusted, so the size of the ship cannot be modified. Of course, if even the keel is rebuilt, it is indeed the same as adjusting the size of the ship. But, if you want to go to that extent, isn't it the same as rebuilding a ship? Ace Bagu said. Well, let's build a new one. Luffy nods. In fact, he has some knowledge of shipbuilding before so he actually knows the answer to this question. It's just that since the person in front of me is the personal disciple of the world's number one shipbuilder, Luffy still asks a casual question. What if the melee number can be changed to a larger size? Then there is no need to change it. However, there is nothing to be disappointed if you can't change it, because Luffy's original idea was to buy a second boat. Since the shipbuilding materials have been determined, I will go back and design a shipbuilding plan according to your ideas. This may take a few days, and I will come to you again at that time," Ace Bagu said. Luffy smiled and said, Okay, no hurry. We are not in a hurry, the boat must be built. After Ace Bagu left the melee, he took out a dedicated phone bug and dialed a number. After a while, under a hidden bridge pier, a muscular man wearing swimming trunks came here. He walked briskly, slipped into the shadow of the bridge hole and said, hey, didn't you say that the government of the world is watching closely, and we don't meet at the water? What is it? You actually want to take such a big risk to meet me? Frankie. You have to leave. Ace Bagu stepped out of the shadows. Nani. Hearing that Ace Bagu met him urgently to drive him away, Frankie was furious. I'm not sure. Stupid. This is not the time to be willful. Do you know that people from CP9 have been undercover by my side for several years, from my secretary, to the foreman of the shipyard, and the owner of the bar? Just now there are only four people who are known, how many people are unknown, I don't even know. Listen, 
Master asked us to keep the Pluton design, and it must not fall into the hands of the world's government. Now there are countless eyeliners of the world's government in the water city. If you continue to stay here, sooner or later you will be caught by them. Found. At that time, once the Pluton design is obtained by those guys, even if we die, we will have no face to see the master. Ace Bagu said seriously. Master was mentioned, Frankie fell silent. Master's death, it can be said that he has a great responsibility. If it wasn't for him not to listen to his brother and insist on fiddle with those super warships, those CP5 guys back then wouldn't have had the opportunity to frame him with the battleships made by Frankie. So, even if he risked his life in this life, Frankie must abide by his master's last wish and never let Pluton's blueprints leak out. Just, if the situation is really so urgent, it's not impossible for me to leave. But you tell me, where else can I go after leaving Shudu? Frankie asked loudly. He grew up in the capital of Seven Waters since he was a child, and now he is in his thirties, and he wants to leave here suddenly. This is like a child who has never traveled far and is suddenly taken away by his parents. Kicked out of the house, and told him that you should be self-reliant in the future. This kind of fear and helplessness is hard to bear. You don't have to worry about this. I've already thought of a place for you. It is said that an elder brother is like a father, as Frankie's senior brother, Ace Bagu is like Frankie's half-father. Since he wants to let Frankie leave, how could he not arrange for him? Hearing this, Frankie looked blankly at Ace Bagu. Where to go, where to? Ace Bagu said loudly. Didn't you aspire to build the most powerful warship in the world since you were a child? Now is your chance. Hearing this, Frankie's heart suddenly turned hot. But then, he was stunned for a moment. Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean? Don't you know? The boat I want to build, must be a boat built with Baoshu Adam as the material. Ace Bagu smiled slightly. Baoshu Adam, right? No problem. And. You can look for materials, as long as there are goods on the black market, you don't have to worry about money. Your future captain has plenty of money. What? The future captain. Frankie's face is full of bewildered expressions. Ace Bagu said. Yes, he is the master of the super battleship you are about to build. He is very powerful. I saw with my own eyes that CP9 is like a child in front of him. Vulnerable. If you can get on his ship, then the blueprint of the Pluton battleship must be much safer than staying here. But. Dot did they agree to let me board the boat? Frankie asked puzzled. You don't have to worry about this. The two of us have teamed up to build the most powerful warship in the world, and it can also dive. Its functions are so complicated that if others want to learn to operate. If you do it, you won't be able to learn it all in one year. And you are the best shipwright in the world. When the time comes, I will recommend you to be their shipwright like Luffy, I believe he will not refuse. Ace Bagu is very confident in his idea, after all. When this super battleship is built, the Straw Hat pirates will definitely need him or Frankie to accompany the ship. And if he is the mayor of the capital of Seven Waters, he won't be able to leave at all. And Frankie. Definitely the best candidate. Hiss. Huh. Listening to Ace Bagu's words, Frankie took a deep breath, day. He has begun to imagine that he can gallop the sea on the super battleship he built. If you can board this super battleship we built with our own hands, then I promise you to leave the water capital with the Pluton design. Frankie gets more and more excited when he thinks about it, but he is also slightly worried, then when will he take me with you? It's okay, I'm here, you can ask yourself. At this time, Luffy's figure appeared in front of the two. Ah, you. Dot you followed me. Seeing Luffy appearing here, Ace Bagu was shocked. Because he mentioned the Pluton battleship design in the conversation with Frankie just now. Frankie is also facing an enemy. Luffy nodded. Yeah, for such an important matter as shipbuilding, isn't it reasonable for me to inquire about your details? But. Ace Bagu's complexion is very ugly, but the design of the Pluton battleship, isn't it? Luffy smiled and shook his head slightly. You don't have to worry about this. I know where the real Pluton battleship is, and will you still covet a blueprint that you don't know if it's true or not? 